following is a special presentation from the WKLM Sports Department. It's time now for high school basketball from your hometown radio station, FM 95.3 WKLM. And good evening, Brogan. Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody. And it is senior night here at the Dungeon as they are honoring their senior ball players, cheerleaders, and band members here tonight at West Holmes. But it's West Holmes night coming with a record of 14 and 4 and 16, taking on Orville with a record of 5 and 16. Stay tuned. You'll hear from Coach Ben Belton coming up on the pregame show right here on WKLM. Are you ready to tackle home improvement with the winning team? Look no further than Wayne Door, your MVP for all things doors and windows. Score big with their championship lineup. Garage doors, openers, entry and storm doors, windows, patio doors, and more. Just like a winning play, Wayne Door offers an unbeatable sales team, flawless installation, and game-changing service. Their local experts ensure you're always in the lead. Don't settle for anything less. Visit them today at WayneDoor.com or stop by their showroom and elevate with your home improvement improvement game with the experts. Wayne Door, people you can trust since 1973. EcoSeal Home Solutions has been serving all of Northeast and Central Ohio as the leader in foundation waterproofing and repair, basement exit systems, and gravel delivery. Whether you're building a new home or your existing home's foundation and basement is in need of some TLC, EcoSeal has the answer. For more information or to schedule a free estimate, call 330-893-SEAL. That's 330-893-7325. Did you know that one of the nation's top hospitals was founded right here in Holmes County? It's true. Pomerine Hospital was recently named the top 20 rural and community hospital by the National Rural Health Association. For 75 years, Pomerine has applied the latest medical expertise to meet the unique needs of our community. And today, they continue to lead the way in reliable patient outcomes, from outpatient services to life-saving surgeries. Learn more about the many ways Pomerine provides award-winning care right in your backyard. Visit pomerinehospital.org. Since 1991, Holmes County Education and Community Foundation has awarded more than $11 million in scholarships to nearly 2,800 Holmes County residents pursuing higher education. Scholarship applications for the 2024-2025 academic year will open in January. To apply, please visit our website at www.hcef.net. Holmes County residents and Holmes County High School graduating seniors may apply. Get financial solutions when you need it from Dave Schlabel Financial Services. After winning six state championships as a head basketball coach, Dave Schlabel knows that planning, preparation, and hard work can lead to success. And the same can be applied to your financial future. Whether you are a young adult, individual, family, or a business, Dave Stable Financial Services will establish financial goals and income protection. Contact Dave Stable Financial Services at 893-1900, located at 4585 State Route 39, Millersburg. Securities offered through ON Equity Sales Company, member FINRA SIPC. This is Matt Kinsey. At First Federal Community Bank, our mission is to empower the financial well-being of our community one person at a time. Through integrity and quality, we earn the trust of our customers and exceed their expectations. First Federal Community Bank, investing in our community since 1898. Serving your banking needs in Dover, New Philadelphia, Yerkesville, Sugar Creek, Berlin, and Mount Hope. First Federal Community Bank, member FDIC. Discover your passion and prepare for your future with Buckeye Career Center. Now is the time to enroll for next school year. Visit BuckeyeCareerCenter.org to review our over 30 high school programs in addition to our two new programs, including dental assisting and fire and EMS technology. Other programs to consider are CAD, commercial truck, culinary arts, medical assisting, and masonry. 97% of the class of 2022 was employed, enrolled in college, or enlisted in the military following graduation. Join us to find out why we are Buckeye Pro before the tip is brought to you by Village Motors of Millersburg.
When it comes to service, nobody cares more than Village Motors in Millersburg. This is Deke Miller, and I'm proud to say that we have state-of-the-art equipment and factory-trained technicians working on your vehicle when you visit. And we also offer a variety of preventative maintenance programs designed to greatly reduce the cost of your service visits. We are competitive, convenient, and we care. So the next time you need your vehicle service, stop by and see us at Village Motors in Millersburg. And we are alongside the head coach of the West Holmes Knight. This is Ben Belden. And, uh, coach, I can't believe it's the last game of the regular season already. Tournament time's knocking on the door. But um, kind of recap this season a little bit. Talk about your team's progress at this point and, you know, how things are going for you at this point of the year. Yeah, I mean, we've had our ups and downs, certainly. Um, I think early on we, uh, we were playing, you know, pretty close like we kind of have all season. You know, we kind of hit a little bit of a lull there in the middle of the season where, um, you know, we battled some injuries and some illness and some things. And, um, you know, down the stretch here, we've we've done a pretty good job of being competitive, won a couple games. Um, we were sitting at four wins on the season, hoping to get our fifth tonight. Um, it's overall been a good year. You know, I think anytime there's a new coach that comes in, um, there's a feeling out process. Obviously, you get the summer, but, you know, you really start to figure out who you are when the actual season comes around. And, you know, there was a little bit of give and take there, uh, a little bit of, you know, I wanted to put some things in that I wanted to do, and they had played a different way for so long, and it was a little bit of a coming to the middle. And when we kind of did that, we, uh, we, we started to play a little bit better. So uh, we hope to kind of ride some of that momentum into the tournament and uh, hopefully, you know, send our seniors out on a high note tonight. Well, you've certainly been playing some of your best basketball of the year. And so talking about it's senior night here at the Dungeon, it's always a, always a great night here at Weston. I love coming here for this evening. But, you know, your seniors going out um, – your senior have been playing really well for you lately, and especially Nate Fair and uh, Collier Klein, you know, scoring very well for you lately. I thought their play specifically has picked up and tremendously towards the end of the year. Yeah, I mean, I think Nate, uh, you know, Nate uh, had a few games where he, we had a couple rough games early on in the year, just didn't shoot it very well. Always plays 100% and um, great kid to coach in that regard. But when he started to really find his offense, we started to be a little bit more competitive. Collier's kind of been that steady influence all, all year long. Um, and, you know, don't discount the other one. Sam's been a really cal calming influence for us also, makes the right play. You know, Coyer and Wyatt off the bench are great energy guys for us when they get their opportunities. Uh, you know, Coyer's hit a couple big shots and timely spots for us especially. And, you know, Wyatt just every day just comes and puts work in and, and does what he's asked to do. So all five of those guys really have, uh, you know, really stepped to the plate. They were a really good group to coach. It's my first one here. And, you know, it's kind of nice that there's five of them. Get to start all five of those guys tonight and get to get them to play together. Really, for the first time, all five of them will be on the court at the same time all season. So we're excited for that, too. Yeah, absolutely. That's what makes senior night such a, a great night when you're able to do something like that. So, you know, all those kids have been great contributors for them. But, you know, this is not the end of it. Coming after tonight, you got to get ready for tournament time. So I'm sure that's a nice, fresh start for your team. And a, a victory tonight would go a long way to give you some momentum going into tournament time. Oh, absolutely. I, I think we feel like our schedule – through the OCC and our non-conference schedule really prepares us well for the tournament. So, um, you know, win or lose, I, I think tonight we will uh, we'll come out of here knowing what we got to do to get ready for either the, the winner of either Morgan or Maysville. Um, so we're, we're like you said, you know, we're, we're looking for those contributions from those guys yep. and, and it just – get going on a high note in a tournament you know get a day off or so we don't play till next saturday so we got eight days uh between tonight and uh in our next game so get a day or two of rest and then come after it and put our best foot forward absolutely so what do you know about this orville team tonight they come in here very similar looking team on paper it should be a great matchup tonight yeah i mean like right on down to you know the heights and things yeah. of the players like yeah. it's pretty it's pretty um i don't know it's pretty similar they're they're kind of going through the same thing they play hard uh, they play through their big guys. Um, you know, they've got a couple guys that, you know, and so do we, 6'6 six, six and 6'2. So uh, they like to get them the ball, play through them. Their perimeter players thrive whenever they can get the ball down inside and kick it back out to them. So um, a lot of the same types of things that we're trying to do, they're trying to do as well. Should be a pretty even matchup. It should be. Well, Coach, as always, thanks for your time. We'll let you get ready for this one. Good luck tonight. Thank you. That's the boys, the head basketball coach of the West Holmes Knights, Ben Belden. Stay tuned. More to come on the pregame show here on WKLM. Before the Tip has been brought to you by Village Motors of Millersburg. Hey you, are you looking for driveway or...
base materials? I know just the place to go. DNM Rocks in Millersburg. They have shale products and culvert pipe, and they deliver. Or maybe you're looking for landscape supplies. DNM Rocks has that too. Stop and see them on the hill behind Jenner's, or give them a call to set up a delivery at 330-473-6020. DNM Rocks. During this time out, we at Dr. Brad Walsh and Associates want to thank our patients of the past 29 years for being part of our dental family. Dr. Walsh, Dr. Reeser, and Dr. Bostick not only provide routine dental procedures, they also offer advanced dental care, including root canals, wisdom teeth removal, implants, and orthodontics. Emergency care and new patients are always welcome. To schedule an appointment, call us at 330-674-4876 or visit us online at drbradwalsh.com. Loading the kids in the car, brokering peace in the back seat, mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple so you can worry about more important things like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent, Hobrin's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767. It's time to be thinking about those concrete projects. Call Homes Ready Mix of Millersburg, offering ready mix concrete, precast blocks, and a variety of mason and concrete products. Call today for prices and delivery options of ready mix concrete, at 674-0865 or sand and gravel at 674-8121. That's Homes Ready Mix of Millersburg, a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. This is Raleigh Mast. I'm a fleet mechanic with Yoder Lumber Logistics. We are a truck load carrier and broker servicing customers east of the Rocky Mountains. We have a fleet of late model equipment specializing in flatbed and Conestoga freight. At Yoder Lumber Logistics, we take pride in offering our customers fast and friendly service at competitive rates for all their inbound and outbound needs. Give us a call today at 330-893-3131. Critchfield Law Firm has always been dedicated to providing the highest quality legal services to their clients throughout Holmes County and surrounding areas. Critchfield Law Firm also understands the dedication of our youth. From the classroom to the music room to athletics, Holmes County's best is represented in every academic area. Critchfield Law Firm in Millersburg, wishing all who participate the best in their endeavors. Are you ready to accelerate towards your dreams with a new car, ATV, boat, or some extra cash for personal needs? This is Zach Deidinger, a banking center manager at the Commercial and Savings Bank, here to help you fund your next adventure. Our team of experts is committed to finding the right solution for you with competitive rates, flexible terms, and personalized service. Visit csb1.com to apply online or give us a call at 800-654-9015 to speak with a loan specialist and discover the CSB advantage. Advantage. The Commercial and Savings Bank. Relationships you can bank on. Member FDIC. And we are back here at the dungeon as senior night is getting ready to wrap up here as we've introduced our cheerleaders and basketball players here for the West Holmes Knights. In the JV contest earlier tonight, Orville would defeat West Holmes by a score of 49 to 35. Taking a look at both of these teams leading up to the night and how they got here. Of course, Orville playing out of the Pac-7. Taking a look at that conference right there. CVCA would win that league title with a record of 14-0. They're 20-2 overall in the year. A very, very good basketball team. Triway would finish second with a league record of 11-3. They're 17-5 overall. Northwest would be third at 10-4, 14-7 overall. Then would be Canton South. They're at 14-7. They were 8-6 in the league. Manchester 10-12. They finished at 7 and 7. Orville, of course, 5 and 16 on the year. Finished at 4 and 10 in the league. Fairless was 3 and 19 with a 2 and 12 league record. Tuslaw was 0 and 22 and 0 and 14 in the league. 
Taking a look at the overall schedule on the year for Orville, they would start out with a loss against Norway in 57 to 40 and come back and get a victory against Strasbourg by a score of 48 to 45. Drop their next one against Manchester, 48 to 66, and then pick up another victory against Tuslaw, 73 to 58, and then they would lose their next five straight against Waynedale, CBCA, Northwest, Worcester, and Canton South before they would get their next victory against Fairless. They would win that one 65 to 54, and they would lose their next seven in a row to Triway, Manchester, CBCA, Northwest, Norton, and then Canton South, as well as Northwestern, and get two victories against Fairless and Tuslaw, and then fall down to Triway and Columbia in their last two games. But this is the last regular season game of the year here for both teams heading into tournament time. Taking a look at West Holmes' schedule on the year and their record of 4-16. and 16. They would start the year with a loss against Riverview, get a victory against Byesville's, Byesville Meadowbrook in week number two. We'll lose a close one the next week against Mansfield Madison, 47 to 45 in overtime. And then they would lose a new Philly, Worcester, Mount Vernon, at Mansfield Senior, Lexington, Ashland, Carrollton, New Philadelphia, Worcester, and Mount Vernon before they would get a victory finally against Tuslaw by a score of 56 to 44. They would drop their next one against Mansfield and then against Triway as well as to Lexington. And then West Holmes would win two in a row as they would go to Mansfield and defeat Madison by a score of 46 to 40. And they went to Cambridge and defeated them by a score of 50 to 43. And they would drop their next two contests to Ashland 61-28 into Highland 47-32. That'll bring us up to tonight's contest here against Orville. So we will take a break. We'll come back with more pregame show after this here on WKLM. A single family home located at 5181 Eagle Drive in Millersburg is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $450,000. This property was built in 2017 and has three bedrooms and two full baths with 1,713 square feet. Located in the Hawks Landing subdivision within the East Holmes Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Nolan Mackey at 330-231-0028 or check it out at KaufmanRealty.com. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. Millersburg Electric has been serving the area since 1945 with quality sales and service of home appliances. And now, during the President's Day Super Sale, get selected savings throughout the store. Hi, this is Carrie Taylor, and as a member of one of the nation's largest appliance buying groups, we offer inventory levels and pricing equal or better than all of those larger stores. With over 250 items on display and thousands available, let our experienced staff show you the latest in kitchen appliances, laundry products, freezers, and more. Visit us on State Route 83 south of Millersburg or 24-7 at millersburgelectric.com. Danko Marketing of Millersburg reminds you that a properly working and maintained garage door is critical to safety. Door springs, bottom brackets, cables, and supports are under extreme tension and can cause serious injury if dealt with them properly. That's why your local garage door dealer is the one to trust. His professional expertise keeps your garage door working as it should and puts the job in the right hands. A safety and service tip from Denko Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home. Everyone knows that Millersburg Tire Service sells a lot of farm tires like BKT, Seat, Firestone, Michelin, Titan, Galaxy, D-Stone, and Lions. Hi, this is Brad Smucker from Millersburg Tire Service, and we also sold over 10,000 heavy-duty truck tires last year in 29 different brands. We can mount them in our truck bay, or we can drop them off. If it runs on tires, Millersburg Tire Service has it, or we can get it from the many suppliers that we have available. Plus, we sell tires in Ohio and all the surrounding states. When you want the best, call Millersburg Tire Tire service at 330-674-1085 and talk to one of our knowledgeable sales staff celebrating our 70th year in the tire business.
With today's market instability, many homeowners are looking to upgrade their existing home rather than buy or build a new one. At Home Siding Contractors, we know choosing the many colors and styles of siding, replacement windows and doors can be overwhelming. At Home Siding Contractors, we can help make that decision easier. Durability, beauty, and low maintenance over time describes our products the best. Call Home Siding Contractors today at 888-725-6619 and let our professional staff help upgrade your home today. Stop in all this week for these great savings at Rody's IGA. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have Gerber's Boneless Skinless Chicken Thighs, $5.49 a pound. 81% lean ground chuck, $3.29 a pound. Fresh red strawberries, two for $5. We also have Boneless Beef Round Sirloin Tip Roast, $4.59 a pound. Boneless Beef Round Sirloin Tip Steak, $4.69 a pound. Beef Cube Steak, $4.99 a pound. Bone and Pork Loin Country Style Ribs for $2.09 a pound. And Bone and Pork Loin Sirloin Roast for $1.99 a pound. That's now through Sunday at Rody's IGA Marketplace in Millersburg. Call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your Ream Pro partner, and you know you're calling the very best. Berlin Heating and Cooling services and installs Ream and all other types of furnaces and equipment. Berlin Heating and Cooling, they're your local team you can trust. Call them today at 330-893-3057. That's 330-893-3057. And welcome back here to the dungeon here. Regular season finale from West Holmes High School. It is senior night here. Troy Fritz on the broadcast. I'll be joined by Don Hall here shortly. We want to remind you, you can catch this game of night only, not only on 95.3 here on the air, but you can catch us on YouTube. Just go to the WKLM YouTube page and search for West Holmes basketball. Brought to you tonight, courtesy of Claxon Communication. Casey Claxon on hand tonight. The man himself taking care of the producing and engineering tonight. And we have Aiden Garibrand on the camera tonight with us. Taking a look at both of these teams' scoring on the year individually. For West Holmes, they have two players that's averaging double fingers in Nate Fair and Collier Klein. Nate Fair coming in at 11.1 on the year. Collier Klein with a 12.6 average. Both those players have had 13 double-digit games on the year. Sam Sprang comes in averaging nine points a game. The other two seniors for West Holmes, Collier Miller averaging 1.3 a game, and Wyatt Slough chipping in one point a game as well. For Orville, they'll bring in three players here in double fingers. Their leading scorer is Taj Gibson, the 6'6 post player, averages 14.5 a game. And two other players for them averaging nine points a game is Michael Dial and Jax Haley for Orville. So teams are pretty evenly matched on paper here. We're going to take another quick break. When we come back, you're going to get some thoughts from Don Hall and more in the pregame show after this here on WKLM. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MEB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MEB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. Are you looking for a bank that understands your local needs? Look no further than Kilbuck Savings Bank. We're your neighbors, your friends, and your partners in financial success. At Kilbuck Savings Bank, we pride ourselves on offering personalized service tailored to you. We are a community bank that is large enough to help you achieve your goals while continuing to care about the communities we serve. We wish all teams the best of luck this season. KSB, a Bauer five-star financial rated bank. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Broman & Byler in Millersburg is a local full-service accounting firm. Hello, this is John Byler. We offer a complete range of services from tax, business, and estate planning to bookkeeping and payroll services. When choosing a financial advisor at tax time, choose Broman & Byler at 161 North Washington Street in Millersburg. You can reach us at 330-674-8222. 
MRV Siding Supply is introducing another line of stone called Casa di Sassi, where old world charm meets modern luxury. Whether you're looking to enhance your outdoor space or add a touch of sophistication to your interior design, their wide range of products will meet your every need. Choose from a variety of styles and colors to create the perfect ambiance for your space. Casa di Sassi, where timeless beauty meets exceptional quality. Discover the possibilities at MRV Siding Supply on County Road 624 in Middlesburg or on the web at MRVSiding.com. Get your siding supplies from the Siding Guys. MRV Siding Supply. Are you ready to tackle home improvement with the winning team? Look no further than Wayne Door, your MVP for all things doors and windows. Score big with their championship lineup. Garage doors, openers, entry and storm doors, windows, patio doors, and more. Just like a winning play, Wayne Door offers an unbeatable sales team, flawless installation, and game-changing service. Their local experts ensure you're always in the lead. Don't settle for anything less. Visit them today at WayneDoor.com or stop by their showroom and elevate with your home improvement improvement game with the experts. Wayne Door, people you can trust since 1973. Taking on a large exterior home project is no small task. When you're looking for the best options in roofing, siding, windows, and doors, Provia products are the clear choice. At Provia, quality is engineered into the product, integrity is never compromised, and local craftsmanship delivers a stunning final result that will last for generations. Our experts at Kime Home Center are here to help you explore the possibilities. Visit Kime in Charm, Ohio. Kime, built on trust since 1911. When it comes to service, nobody cares more than Village Motors in Millersburg. This is Deke Miller, and I'm proud to say that we have state-of-the-art equipment and factory-trained technicians working on your vehicle when you visit. And we also offer a variety of preventative maintenance programs designed to greatly reduce the cost of your service visits. We are competitive, convenient, and we care. So the next time you need your vehicle service, stop by and see us at Village Motors in Millersburg. Did you know that one of the nation's top hospitals was founded right here in Holmes County? It's true. Pomerine Hospital was recently named the top 20 rural and community hospital by the National Rural Health Association. For 75 years, Pomerine has applied the latest medical expertise to meet the unique needs of our community. And today, they continue to lead the way in reliable patient outcomes, from outpatient services to life-saving surgeries. Learn more about the many ways Pomerine provides award-winning care right in your backyard. Visit pomerinehospital.org. And welcome back to the Dungeon in the pregame show. Get ready for West Holmes to take on Orville here on Senior Night from the Dungeon. Time to bring in my good friend to my left. This is Don Hall. And Don, you know a thing or two about this Orville West Holmes rivalry. This one goes back a long ways, and it was always a good one. It's always been a good one. Uh, sold out crowds, uh, but then again, we're playing in a lot bigger venues too today. <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, even back to the old, I remember in junior high playing in the Chippewa Conference with, with Orville that had the Brunswick and Wadsworth and Wood and uh, try away. I mean, it's just a really, really good conference, and that's it's it's been sold out ever since then. You go back to the you know, the Randy Cl Kleinage and then the Mike Klein and, yeah. and, and Randy Day. That they're just a good good teams back then, and uh, and just it continued on. There was just a couple years, I think, where we didn't play each other, but uh, it's good to see Orville back on the schedule. Well, it is indeed. This is a long time matchup here. It's always been a good one, and uh, you know, coming in here on senior night, there's a whole different set of emotions here for West Holm tonight. They've got five seniors that are going to put on the floor tonight. It's going to play their last game ever on this score, and there, Donnie, there's emotions tied to things like that. There is. There is. Believe me, I've been there. Yeah. And uh, from both sides, from, from a player standpoint, I think, and from a coach's standpoint, I thing and uh but i've been lucky enough to to coach these uh seniors when they were sophomores uh three of them actually led her for me played for me a couple years back uh call your client sam sprang and nate fair uh but uh you ask any of those three seniors i said right said right there they're they're going to tell you well it's just not us three you know there's wyatt slough and and Coyer Miller, and those guys are very important as well. And uh, so they're going to get their due. They're, they're going to get a chance to see the floor uh, start tonight and uh, get a nice little uh, round of applause. We've got a nice crowd here tonight. So it's going to be a really nice game tonight. Well, it is. Nice night to be in the gym here at the Dungeon. And, you know, so taking a look at this matchup, these are two teams that's very even on paper here tonight. You know, West Holmes comes in here with four wins, Orville with five wins. But on paper, they're identical ball teams, Don. They are. They are. Both teams like an up-tempo type game. That's what West Holmes is starting to go towards a little bit. Um, 
They both like to shoot the threes, especially Orville. Uh, everybody on the Orville squad, even their big 6'6 six, six kid, will shoot the three. Uh, so they like to shoot the threes. Uh, both teams will come in with a little bit of a press. Orville will come with a little variation of the half court traps, full court, half court, three quarter court. Uh, but it's going to be uh, a very much like looking in the mirror at each other. No, no, nobody has those really, you know, 20 point scores. They all have a couple kids that are in your low teen scoring, and then you've got a few that are in the nine point range, and, uh, and then you've got a lot of good role players. So it's just, it's just like seriously looking yourself in the mirror. And, and tonight, real big key right now is, is it's going to be rebounding and 50 50 balls. And for West Holmes, a victory here would go a long ways to giving them some momentum, getting ready to go into tournament time, obviously. Yeah, and that's what you're looking for. Uh, I mean, West Holmes has been playing their best basketball here towards the end, and they've they played a really tough conference, too. Uh, conference schedule and non-conference schedule yeah. and uh, they're looking to get that fifth victory tonight and get them a little bit of edge going in uh, they will play the winner of probably uh, uh, what is it Maysville and Morgan yeah, I believe absolutely. And that's and next Saturday already next Saturday that? they do have a <laughs> week off so uh, this game will be a good stepping stone special with a good victory uh, I think Coach Bell said he's going to give them the day off tomorrow and believe me a day off tomorrow with the victories very 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 well deserved well absolutely that would be big for West Holmes here and um, while we've got a minute here before we get ready to send this one into commercial we want to take just a quick minute as we always do at the end of the year and just give a special thank you to all of our sponsors and all the great support we get here at WKOM and the Holmes County community from all our businesses and you know we wouldn't be here without them and we can't thank them enough and that's that's so true Holmes County and surrounding areas is that's quite a little tri-county area I mean we even venture out into to Knox County up into Wayne County yeah. Tuscarawas County but uh, everybody is just so uh, willing and giving and, and very supportive and uh, and it, we're truly nothing without them we are we're blessed indeed and one more thank you while we've got a few minutes our own Matt Corey he's enjoying a timeout tonight taking a little break here from basketball action we get ready to ramp up for tournament action but folks if you like all the basketball and all the sports coverage and all the stuff that goes on here at WKLM I do not have enough words for Matt Corey and the job he does here at WKLM he does it with passion. He loves what he does, and he does a darn good job of it, and we appreciate him. So with that in mind, we're going to take a break. When we come back, Don Hall's going to have your starting lineup, so we're going to tip it off in the dungeon right here on WKLM. Hi, I'm Eugene with Yoder Family Roofing and Spouting. We are located in Millersburg, Ohio, and have been serving our community for the past 25 years. When was the last time you thought about having your roof inspected or spouting cleaned? You can find us online at yoderfamilyroofing.com or by giving us a call or text at 330-695-3000. Again, that's 330-695-3000 for all your roofing and spouting needs. Critchfield Law Firm has always been dedicated to providing the highest quality legal services to their clients throughout Holmes County and surrounding areas. Critchfield Law Firm also understands the dedication of our youth. From the classroom to the music room to athletics, Holmes County's best is represented in every academic area. Critchville Law Firm in Millersburg, wishing all who participate the best in their endeavors. Whatever Mother Nature has in store, you're not worried because you've got Yokohama's Geolander AT G015 on your side. Stop by Holmes Tire LLC to find out what a new set of all-terrain tires can do for your truck or SUV. This tire is all traction designed to take you from the pavement to the trail in any weather, anytime you want. Discover the Yokohama Geolander AT G015 and get ready to experience what all-terrain is all about. Stop by Holmes Tire LLC today and fill out a finance application for approval with no credit needed on new tire purchases. Call Holmes Tire LLC in Millersburg. 330-674-0025 or their other locations in Spencer, Mount Vernon, and now open in Loudonville. Are you ready to accelerate towards your dreams with a new car, ATV, boat, or some extra cash for personal needs? This is Zach Deidinger, a banking center manager at the Commercial and Savings Bank, here to help you fund your next adventure. Our team of experts is committed to finding the right solution for you with competitive rates, flexible terms, and personalized service. Visit csb1.com to apply online or give us a call at 800-654-9015 to speak with a loan specialist and discover the CSB advantage. Advantage. The Commercial and Savings Bank. Relationships you can bank on. Member FDIC. 
the employees of Holmes Wayne Electric Cooperative work hard and wear many hats at the cooperative. But that dedication goes beyond providing power to keep the lights on. They also are very active in their communities. Some volunteer at their local church, others are coaching youth, and some giving back through working for their township or community board. So what makes this cooperative different? They focus on people. Holmes Wayne Electric, always here for their members, always here for their community. Getting the kids to practice on time. Remembering if it's your day to bring snacks. Making it to the game with a clean jersey. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. Auto owners works with independent agents who answer when you call. So you can worry about more important things, like whether your kid is going to run toward first or third base. That's simple human sense. Visit Hummel Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Newark, Orville, and Worcester, or online at HummelGRP.com. A single-family home located at 9650 Golf Course Road Northwest in Sugar Creek is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty in auctions with an asking price of $975,000. This property was built in 2021 and has three bedrooms and two full baths. 2,208 square feet located in the Garraway Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Tim Miller at 740-502-6786 or check it out at KaufmanRealty.com tonight and the starting lamps are being brought to you by Finish Line Auto Body located on the north side of Millersburg. If your car is damaged the best place to get it back in the game is at Finish Line Auto Body and now for those starting lineups here is Don Hall. Thank you very much Troy. Starting tonight for your visiting team your Oroville Red Riders led by head coach Jim Frizzell. Number 13 a 5 foot 10 inch junior guard averaging 9 points a game Michael Deal. Number five, a five foot 10 inch junior, averaging 9.4 points a game, Jax Haley. Number 22, a six foot one inch senior, Nick Amstutz. Number 34, a six foot two inch freshman, averaging 9.3 points a game, Malachi Gray. And rounding out your starting five, number 42, a six foot six inch senior post, averaging 14.5 points a game, Todd Gibson. And for your home team tonight, your West Holmes Knights, led by head coach Ben Belden. Number one, a six foot senior guard, averaging 8.9 points a game, Sam Sprang. Number four, a six foot senior guard, averaging 12.6 points a game, Collier Klein. Number two, a six foot four inch senior forward, averaging 11.1 points a game, Nate Fair. Number three, a five foot nine inch senior guard, Coyer Miller, and rounding out your starting five, number 13, a six foot inch, six foot senior post, Wyatt Slough. And of course, Orville is coached by Jim Frizzell. West Holmes is led by first year head coach, Ben Belden. Junior, number 23, Anthony Adams. And starting lineups are still underway here from the dungeon. We want to remind you, you can catch this game tonight, not only here on 95.3 WKLM, but over on YouTube, thanks to our good friends in partnership with Claxon Communication. Cat Clacy, Casey Claxon on hand here tonight. Donnie, you got me doing a Casey Claxon on hand. Aiden Garibrandt on the camera here tonight as well. And so we thank them for being with us. I'm going to remind you, too, we got Brogan Steinwell back at Command Central taking care of all the buttons to take care of business tonight. You want to stay tuned for the high school scoreboard following tonight's contest. That's going to be brought to you by Rhodes IGA because Brogan will have all the scores from around the area all the way up until midnight. Other games of interest going around in the area tonight in boys basketball. This is going to wrap up the regular season for most schools. Of course, Orville here at West Holmes. Dalton is at Waynedale. Worcester travels to Jackson. Malvern is at River. And Strasburg will be at Buckeye Trail tonight. A light, light schedule here in boys basketball as it's ramping up towards tournament time here, ladies and gentlemen. West Holmes will get ready to play next Saturday here as they await either the winner of Morgan or Maysville to get their tournament trail started. But Don, this would be a good matchup here tonight for us as West Holmes and Oregon are about ready to get underway here. Final thoughts before they tip it off. Well, we've already talked about it. It's just mirror very much up of each other. And it, uh, it's going to come down to it's just those little little things. I mean, uh, it's a game of runs. Who has the biggest run? Maybe who has the last run? But it's going to come down to just 50-50 you know, balls or second chance points, just little things. Uh, maybe depth might come into uh, you know the equation as well. So 
So it's, it's going to be a, a very, very entertaining game, I believe, tonight. Well, and for West Holmes here, they're going to get to start their five seniors here. So this will be kind of an emotional start for these guys here tonight. Taking this, taking the forward for the last time as a senior, that's a, that's a, that's a big thing. It uh, is, it is. And there's a lot of emotions. A lot of emotions here. And, uh, you know, uh, Wyatt Slough is having time of his life right now. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he's going to come in. He's going to go up uh, uh, against, uh, well, it looks like Gorville's not starting their big guy now. Taj right. Gibson, the 6'6 kid. So Wyatt's going to be matched up against a very, very active freshman uh, for um, Orville. Malachi Gray, uh, he's averaging almost 10 points a game. And, and you're going to, if you're watching him tonight or even listen, you're going to hear us mention his name quite a bit because he is uh, very, very active, especially on the boards, a good defensive player, and actually likes to get out and run the court as well. Uh, absolutely. Orville comes in, and they're traveling red with the red and, excuse me, the white and black trim down the sides. White and Newman's West Holmes in their home white. White and blue number with red trim. Nate Fair will step into the center circle for West Holmes. Malachi Gray for Orville. The official joins and the ball's up and we're underway from West Holmes. Controls, the tip's going to be controlled by West Holmes. That's going to be Coyle Worth and we'll now get back to Collier Klein. Klein will have it here top of the key. He'll go left side to Fair. Now Sam Spring down in the left corner. Back up top, Collier Klein. Right wing, Coyer Miller thought about the three, pulled it down. Now he's going to find Sprang down the left block, turn around, shot up off the glass, no good. Knocked out of bounds off of Orville. It'll stay right here with West Holmes. Now Orville in a, in a sort of a, a spread out 2-3 zone, uh, three beats that zone offense. Ball movement, bounce pass, and a ball fake. That's what's going to solve that. West Holmes basketball, baseline out of bounds. This will be Wyatt Schlau. Now up top, it'll go to Sprang. Call your Klein, left corner. Now left wing, back up top, Sprang. Three-pointer top of the key, got it. <laughs> It's a way to start the three-point barrage tonight. Absolutely. West Holmes up 3-0, just underway. Orville first possession, and this will be Michael Deal bringing it up the floor for Orville. They'll work it now to the left side. Pass it over to Jax Haley. Excuse me, that was Braylon Slaughter. Now this will be Deal. Deal high on the right. Bounce pass inside. It will go to Gray. Gray corner. Slaughter. Three ball. They're going to call three seconds. That'll be the first turnover, turnover yeah. tonight for Orville. There's that three-second call again. We've seen more of them this year than we have in a long time. Call your client will bring it up for West Holmes across the timeline. will go to the left side spring. Down on the left of Fair, 15-footer. On the way, off the iron, no good. Ball tipped around. Rebound, Coyer Miller. Now call your client. Sprang left side, back to Fair. Fair back up top to Sprang. He'll dribble to the foul line, kick it up top. Call your client. He'll pull it back, reset the offense. Now Wyatt Schlau at the foul line, back up to Klein. Pass right wing, Coyer Miller. Now fair in the right corner. Back to Miller, back to Klein. Dribble drive, penetration, left side off the glass, no good. Offensive board, fair back up and in. Well, second chance points, Nate's been having quite a few of those here lately. Good, strong board by Fair. West Holmes up 5 nothing. Orville basketball. This will be Deal. Passes left wing over to Davis. Three from the corners, Amstutz, no good. Rebound, Sam Sprang for the Nates. Sprang will keep it. Now he'll give it to Collier Klein. He'll work it across the timeline. Klein to the right side, Fair. Fair back up to Klein. Back on the right wing. Collier Miller, three ball. Back off the iron, no good. Rebound comes down to Orville. And that was Braylon Slaughter. Ball down the corner to Anthony Davis. Now they'll skip it all the way across the deal high on the right. Amstutz, three from the right corner, nailed it. Well, he's a good-looking shooter out there. Didn't hesitate. Caught it ready to shoot the ball. You called the three-point barrage tonight, Donnie. They're shooting them early. 5-3 West Holmes. Slow with the basketball for the Knights. Coyer Miller now to Klein. Left wing fair. Fair back up top. Collier Klein. Little dribble drive to the right side. Hands it off to Coyer Miller. Now bounce pass on the left wing to Sam Sprang. Schlau inside, back to Sprang. Three-pointer left side, back iron, no good. Offensive rebound pulled down by Coyer Miller, saved in the Klein. He had it knocked out of his hands, turnover West Holmes. Here comes Deal the other way. Line, lane, left off the glass, and good. Yeah, that's what West Holmes want to do is have those turnovers lead to easy points for Oroville. Run out for Oroville, ties it up 5-5. Five, five. And this will be Klein with it. Now he'll go inside to Schlau. We're going to get a whistle and a foul. Yeah. Both teams are running that sort of a 2-3 zone. Uh, Orville a little bit more spread out than what West Holmes is. But uh, West Holmes is getting those post touches. But what White Stout needs to do is just turn and square the bucket. And that might draw that double team. Absolutely. Foul is called on Nick Amstutz. Orville's first, his first. 
Ball inbounded to Sprang. Now left corners. Klein. He'll drive to the paint. Up off the glass. Left side. Whistle on a foul. Shot was no good, but he'll head to the free throw line. Well, normally call your finishes through with that contact. Uh, he's been pretty, pretty physical player with the ball. Uh, I bet you he sort of ticked off. He did not have an and one right here. Absolutely. Klein been playing at a high level here for West Holmes. He scored in double digits 13 times this year. First free throw attempt up on the way in. Good. He'll have one more remaining. Remind you, the Yoder family of roofing and spouting serving you for the past 25 years. They're located in Millersburg and serving surrounding areas. Call or text 330-695-3000 for all your roofing needs. Klein missed the second free throw attempt. West Holmes has a 6-5 lead, Orville basketball, and this will be Case McDaniel. Swing it over on the right side to Braylon Slaughter. Back up top, Michael Deal. He'll reset the offense. Coyer Miller will come out and meet him by half court. Bound going the left wing to McDaniel. Back up top to Deal. Deal goes right side. Foul line into the lane. Floating one hand or no good. Rebound will come down to Malachi Gray back up and in. I mean, he's very, very active just on those boards, as you can see. Big body inside. Very athletic freshman for the Red Riders. Coyer Miller now in the front court for West Holmes. He'll pass left corner to Fair. Inside to Schlau, knocked away. Picked up by Fair. Back up top, Coyer. Coyer Miller now over to Collier Klein. Inside will go to Fair. Ball knocked loose up top. Picked up by Collier Klein. Right wing, Coyer Miller, three. Back off the iron, no good. Ball loose on the floor, picked up by Orville. That's going to be McDaniel with the rebound. A six-foot freshman, Case McDaniel, grabs the board for Orville. And there's a three from the right corner by Deal. Shot no good. Rebound comes down to Collier Miller. Miller got another rebound for the Knights. Now Collier Klein in the front court. Jab step, top of the circle. Now passes right side to Coyer Miller. Now down the right block. It goes Schlau up off the glass. Shot no good, but he's fouled. I mean, that that's great job by West Holmes. Nate Fair went to what we call the short corner, and Wyatt Slough was up on the uh, elbow, and when Nate's get that, he cuts to the basket. That's open a lot of times, and that's what's happened tonight. Wyatt needs to come and see what he can capitalize on his yeah, free throws. Good patience shown by West Holmes, waiting for that play to develop there as they made that one extra pass down. So Schlau has a chance to get himself in the score climb for West Holmes. The first one is in and out, no good. He'll have one more remaining. West Holmes trails by one, seven to six, 3.28 to go, period number one. Second free throw attempt, no good. As that falls short, Case McDaniel grabs the rebound for Orville. Deal bring it into the front court now, across the timeline. To McDaniel, now back to Deal. He'll work right side, guarded by Collier Klein. Now back up top to Amstutz. Amstutz, right wing to deal. Now left side, Case McDaniel. Good defense by West Holmes. McDaniel swings it all the way over top of Braylon Slaughter on the right. Now back up top to deal, taken away by Collier Miller. Miller's been very active. He'd give it up to Slough. Now front court to Sprang. Spring holds it high on the left. Now call your client inside. Nate Fair, left block, turnaround jumper. Off the glass, no good. Tipped around. He'll get his own rebound. Offensive board for Nate Fair. Inside Wyatt Slough. Now down the left corner to call your climb. Jab step. He'll work baseline. Nowhere to go. Inside now to Slough. Up top. Sprang. Three. Shore iron. No good. Ball fought for. We're going to get it tied up. And where's that arrow? That's going to go over to Orville. Yeah, I'll tell you what, there's a nice little battle inside there between Gray and Slough. Two strong, sort of undersized post players going at it, but clean, very clean. Those are some big physical boys banging down there. West Holmes, Manny Camacho will check in for them, as did Lynn Klein. And with that, we're going to get a timeout on the floor, so we'll take a break. 2.30 to go, period number one. Don't go away. It's high school basketball here on WKLM. Weicker Concrete, located on County Road 189 between Benton and Holmesville, specializes in ready-mix concrete and state-approved limestone, sand, and gravel. All mixed styles are available, and you can count on fast, dependable delivery and competitive prices. Weicker Concrete has served homes and surrounding counties for over 75 years. Call Weicker Concrete today for all your concrete needs at 674-0038. Remember, for quality concrete, it's Fikert Concrete. And we are back here at the dungeon. It'll be Orville basketball coming out of the timeout. They'll be baseline out of bounds. That gives West Holmes a chance to set up a little full court pressure. 
And for Orville, they'll get it into the front court. This is going to be Amstutz. Amstutz goes right side over to Malachi Gray. He's cut off the baseline by Sprang. Now this will be Braden Cox with the basketball up top for Orville. Deal with it high on the left. Tried to go inside to the foul line. Ball knocked loose, picked up. Case McDaniel has it on the left side all the way across to Cox. Cox will have it high on the right. Bounce pass inside, knocked away. It's going to be taken away by West Holmes. The Orville's third turnover. Collier Klein gets into the front court. Manny Camacho down the right block. Nowhere to go. Back up top. Collier Klein lets a three fly. Front iron, no good. Rebound Nick Amstutz for Orville. Now here comes Deal for the Red Riders. He'll walk it across the timeline. 140 to go, period number one. Orville clean to a one-point lead, 7-6. to six. Deal work it left side to Case McDaniel. Now get it back and go right. Foul line extended right, looks down to the right corner. Nowhere to go. Now back up top to Amstutz. Swings it left side to Cox, back to Amstutz, top of the key. Inside quickly to Gray. Gray will kick it back out. This will be Deal, long three from the right side. No good to be tipped around out of bounds and went off a of Nate Fair out of bounds. It'll stay with Orville. Yeah, you, you're going to see the high post is what West Holmes is sort of leaving open. I'm surprised Coach Vizel doesn't have many, just somebody start there just to try to suck in those guards. Orville basketball deal with it now. Goes over to the right wing to Cox. Back to deal top of the key. Swing it back on the right side to Cox. Now McDaniel will come back and get it from him up top. They're going to get a whistle, a foul, and they got to reach on Camacho. Yeah, you got to move your feet. At least you got a half front him from right there. I mean, good job by Coach Frizzell to put somebody right there at the foul line, and that's what's going to happen. Remind you to stay tuned following the game. We'll announce our Six Monies player of the game. Six Money, where quality and service never go out of style. Minute to go, period number one, Orville basketball. They'll have a baseline out of bounds. Now inbound to Braden Cox. He'll take a deep three right side and buried it. Boy, he didn't hesitate to add some distance on that as well. He did. Stepped into it, knocked it down. 10-6 lead for Orville. Klein now left side to Fair. Now this will be Lynn Klein down the left corner. He'll bring it up top. Reset the offense. Now he'll work left side. He'll hand it off to Nate Fair. Coming up on 40 seconds to go. Fair works it down to the paint. Jab step inside, shot off the glass, no good. Knocked around, loose in the floor. Tipped around, saved by Sprang and call your Klein. Now Klein will take off right side to the basket. Rattles around, no good. Tipped around, and went out of Orville. Stay here with West Holmes. Don, they're getting some good looks inside, just not finishing. They, are, they, they need to, to play through that contract and try to just finish there. Take it up really nice and strong. And like Nate sort of didn't know whether he wanted to swish or put it off the backboard, so he sort of did both. <laughs> top between shots. Getting better to Camacho. Now we'll go to Nate Fair on the left side. Back up top, call your climb. 20 seconds to go. Now Sam Sprang. Sprang pass on the left side to Lynn Klein. Klein jab step. He'll step back and take the three from the left shot. No good. Case McDaniel with the rebound. Off the floor it goes. That's going to be taken away by Camacho. Lynn Klein, Lynn Klein broke up the pass. Now here comes Collier Klein. And we're going to get a foul in the backcourt. That might be on Malachi Gray. Yeah, that's Orville's fourth turnover. 7.2 seconds to go. Gives West Holmes enough time to run a set play if needed. They got McDaniel on that foul call instead of Gray. So that'll be his first fourth team foul for Orville. And West Holmes will have it at half court. This is Collier Klein in the backcourt. Five seconds. Now across the timeline. He'll work right side. Now back to the left. Foul line into the lane. Loses it. He traveled. Turnover West Holmes, and that's where the first period is going to end. One period in the books from the dungeon. It's Orville leading 10-6 back after this on WKLM. The President's Day Super Sale is underway at Millersburg Electric. Get savings throughout the store, including lottery specials from GE, Electrolux, and the top-rated Speed Queen line. Or get a 27-cubic-foot GE French door refrigerator for just $1,299. Switch from refrigerator to freezer with the flick of a switch with the Element 17-cubic-foot convertible refrigerator freezer for just $699. Qualify customers get no interest and no down payments until February 2025. Millersburg Electric on State Route 80 3 South in Millersburg or 24-7 at MillersburgElectric.com. When you're thinking of an old-fashioned smokehouse flavor, think Sugar Valley Meats. They cure their own ham and bacon in the old-fashioned smokehouse uses hickory, apple, and sassafras. Processing, curing, and custom butchering are available. Cut to your specifications. Stop in and see all the products that they offer. That's Sugar Valley Meats on Dutch Valley Drive in Sugar Creek. Turn left at the light, and Sugar Valley Meats is one quarter mile on the right. Call today, 330-852-4423.
Period number two ready to get underway. First quarter numbers courtesy of Don Hall had West Holmes going 1 of 7 from three point range while Orville was 2 of 5 for 40%. West Holmes 1 of 7 from the field while Orville was 2 of 3 for 67%. West Holmes 1 of 4 from the free throw line. Orville did not take any. Orville grabbed 10 rebounds to West Holmes 9. Orville would commit four turnovers to West Holmes 2. And now we're ready to get underway. They're going to say it's West Holmes ball, and not Orville, Don. Well, I'm not sure whatever happened there. <laughs> they didn't get the arrow switched over. So they got it sorted out now, and we're ready to go. Period number two is underway. Collier Klein will have it for West Holmes. Now Sam Spring to Camacho in the right corner. Now back up to Spring on the right wing. Collier Klein, three from the deep cor right corner, no good. Tipped around, rebound's going to come down to Amstutz for Orville. Now Braden Cox, he'll race it across the timeline on the right. Bring it back to the left side. This is Case McDaniel. McDaniel looking down inside. And Orville's got their big big man on the floor now in Taj Gibson. Braden Cox. Ball top of the key. Right side will go to McDaniel. Up top to Cox. Cox will swing it back to McDaniel now. Top of the circle. He'll reset. Bounce pass right side to Cox. Orville being very patient with their offensive sets of tonight. But I think a lot of it has to do with West Holmes' defense as well. There's a three from the right corner. Taj Gibson shot on the way. No good. Ball tipped around. Loose on the floor. Still loose on the floor. And it's still being tipped around. Still loose on the floor. West Holmes is finally going to get him. That's Collier Klein. Nice hustle play there by both sides. West Holmes will come down with him. Here's Collier Klein in the front court. Lynn Klein will have it high on the right side. Now Nate Fair down the right corner. Up top, Collier Klein, three ball on the way, in and out, no good. Rebound, fought for, still loose on the floor, picked up by Orville, that's Cox. Quickly up ahead, it'll go to Slaughter, and it's going to be out of bounds. Turnover on Orville. Orville's fifth turnover tonight. Don, you see how they like to get out and run the floor. They're pushing for tempo. They, they do. They, they want to have that tempo as high as they can get it, and West Holmes wants to slow it down, and that's what they're doing in that 2-3 zone, slowing over down quite a bit. They are. So West Holmes basketball. This will be Camacho at the foul line. Now call your climb back to Camacho. Sam Spring now on the right side. He'll dribble right corner, kick it back up to call your climb. This will be Lynn Klein high on the left. Left corner fair. He'll go baseline. Nice reverse uh, layup by Nate Fair. Good job by Nate using his body to shield Gibson away from him. West Holmes closes the lead to 10 to 8. Orville basketball. And this will be McDaniel with it high on the left. Guarded by Collier Klein. Slaughter now top of the key. Swings it right side to Cox. Cox guarded by Lynn Klein. Now Taj Gibson. He'll take a deep three. Left side buried it. That's wow. one thing. I've watched a little bit of film of Orville this three week. And, and Gibson is not afraid to, to shoot the three. And he can make them. He's Orville's leading scorer at 14 and a half a ball game. 13-8 lead for the Riders. Collier Klein now Camacho top of the key. They'll swing it left side over to Lynn Klein. Klein to Collier Klein. Sprang. Top of the key. Thought about the three. Pulled it down. Now Camacho at the foul line. Looked inside to Lynn Klein. He grabs it off the tip. Shot up and got it in one. <laughs> Almost like a little double clutch right there by Lynn. Orbit went up to contest and he sort of just moved in the air and got nailed on the arm and was able to knock it down. Showed his strength and athleticism there. Did Klein, the sophomore guard for West Holmes, has a chance for the and one. And for the Red Warriors, number 13, Michael Beal, and number 34, Malachi Gray. For Orville, out will go Nick Amstutz and Case McDaniel. Klein's free throw attempt up on the way. Front iron rattles around, no good. Rebound comes down to Gibson. Here comes Orville. Now Cox with the left side. He'll go baseline left, try to go inside. Taken away by Nate Fair. Farrell race out of the pack with it. Now across the timeline. Left side, stutter step. Down to the left corner. Now he'll pick it back up to Lynn Klein up top. Call your Klein. Top of the key. Pulls it down. Now Sam Sprang. Deep three. Top of the key. Back iron. No good. Gibson with the rebound. He'll kick it out quickly up ahead to Cox. Cox high on the right now. Deal. Back to Cox. Gibson on the left. Three ball on the way. Buried another one. Wow. Two for three from behind the arc tonight. Yeah, and he found a spot he likes. 16-10 Orville. 4.38 to go first half. Nate Fair for West Holmes in the front court. This will be Lynn Klein. Foul line extended left. Sam Spring right corner now for the Knights. Looking inside. And we've got a whistle and a foul. There's that three-second call again, Don. 
<laughs> if I'm not mistaken, Troy, I he know was going to say down at Mount Vernon when we had all those three-second calls down there. <laughs> I knew right where your mind was going, partner, and this was a crew when you and I worked a Mount <laughs> yes. Vernon game together. I think we had six three-second calls that game, and I hadn't seen six in ten years. <laughs> or real basketball now. This is going to be... Davis with it now up top to deal. Deal with it high on the right side, inside it'll go to Gibson. Gibson bounce pass, low block. Blocked there by Camacho. Shot was put up by Gray. Good defense by Camacho. West Holmes with the ball. Here comes Collier Klein. Klein to fair now, right side. Back up top to Klein. Klein's gonna go over to Lynn Klein on the left side. Surveys the defense, now back up top to Collier. Now Lynn, left side, Fair in the left corner. Three ball on the way by Fair, got it! Uh, buried it, nice looking shot right there, Nate Fair. Eight points for Fair, West Holmes back within three, 16-13, 3.43 to go, first half. Orville basketball, this will be Deal, he'll walk it across the timeline. Collier Miller there to meet him. Miller on Deal. Now bounce pass Gray. Fair got him. Deflected by... Coyer Miller picked up by Gibson, though. There's a, a Davis now in the left corner, back up to Gray. Swins it on the right side. This will be deal to the foul line. Kicks it back up. Gibson, there's another three on the way. And he got another one. Oh, wow. Well, uh, you're going to have to defend that three ball, especially when he has it. Or don't let him stand in that spot. That's three in a row from that spot. He's got nine. There's Lynn Klein for West Holmes. Baseline right. Up off the glass, but he traveled. Yeah, it'll be West Holmes' fourth turnover. Right idea. Right idea. It took an extra hop. He needs to keep attacking the basket just like that, though. I like the move right there. He lost the handle, caused him a little stutter step, and got the travel. There's Coyer Miller picking up a foul in the backcourt. Coyer Miller coming in playing good defense for West Holmes. Yeah, well, that, that, that's his niche. Yeah. When Coyer comes in, he needs to come in and play that really good defense, a handle ball when needed. Uh, but but he, he has the quick feet. He's, he's strong. Uh, on the defensive end, so that, that's that's his game. I mean, that's that annoying kid you don't want guarding you when he comes in. <laughs> Orville basketball, this will be Malachi Gray now. He's going to look inside, taken away by Lynn Klein. Now here comes Collier Klein. Under three to go here, first half. Collier Klein, stutter step to the lane, up to the slum. <laughs> nice floater by Klein. Boy, good coast-to-coast -coast move by All Collier right. Klein. Cuts the lead to four, 19-15. Braden Slaughter now for the Knights. He'll cross half court. Collier Klein will defend him. Slaughter will work to the left side. He'll hand it off now to Anthony Davis. Davis back to Slaughter. He'll go baseline left. Cut off by Lynn Klein. Nice reverse move. Shot up on the left side. No good. And then he went to get his offensive rebound on Collier Klein. Went over his back. That was a good move by Slaughter. That was a very good. Everybody left him, and that's a, he didn't forget about it. He, he pivoted. Did like did a reverse pivot, was facing the West Holmes bench, and did another pivot, and nobody was there, so he might as well shot it. Absolutely. And checking out will be Malachi Gray for Orville. It'll be Orville basketball. They'll have a baseline out of bounds. Left side of the basket. This will be Braylon Slaughter set to do the duties. He'll look. Still looking. Gets it in now to Davis down the left corner. Davis up top. Taj Gibson. They've got fair on him. Guarding a little tighter now. Nick Amstutz will give the ball up to Deal. Deal works left side against Coyer Miller. Now Slaughter, take off left side, hands it off to Davis. Top of the key is Davis, he'll swing it right side, deal, three, deep three, right side, buried it. He's got five, lead now seven for Orville, 22-15. 150 to go, first half. Collier Klein now, foul line, left side, Coyer Miller. He'll work it back up, jump shot, top of the key, got it! A good looking shot by Coyer Miller, that's what West Holmes needs. Absolutely. Another scoring attack for West Holmes. They're up now, now down 22-17. 1.30 to go. This will be Slaughter. Slaughter picked up there by Collier Klein. He'll work it now left side. This will be Deal. Deal stutter step goes against Corner. Now right side. Nick Amstutz three. Misses everything. Man, what do we got here? This is a nice hustle play. Nick Amstutz come out of nowhere, threw that off the back of Collier Klein on the rebound, and he'll stay with Orville, well, give him a team rebound. There's those second chance points we were talking about earlier. That's great hustle play there by Amstutz. Yeah, so far, Orville has attempted 11 from behind the arc and four two-point field goals. Well, you called it in the pregame, Don. You said they would shoot the three, and they have. Slaughter set to inbounds. He'll get it to Gibson on the left side. His 12-footer, no good. Amstutz gets the offensive rebound. His putback, no good. Tipped around. Gibson gets the offensive board from Orville. He'll take the 15-footer from the right side and miss it. Collier Klein gets the rebound. He's going to be fouled by Deal. 
on the reach. Quick exchange there. We want to remind everybody, stay tuned for the contest tonight for the high school scoreboard brought to you by Rhodes IGA here on WKLM. Brogan Steimel will have all the scores from around the area all the way up till midnight. Boyer Miller now in the front court for West Holmes. This will be Nate Fair. Jump shot left side from three. No good. Coyer Miller grabs the offensive board. Flips it back over his head to Sprang for three. That's no good. Rebound will come down to Slaughter. And Slaughter traveled. Turnover on Orville. Goes right back to the Knights. That's the ninth turnover for Orville. So with West Holmes, they're down five. 47 seconds to go. They'll get a chance to cut into this lead again. Klein will inbound. He'll get it to Ling Klein. Bounce pass on the right side, Collier Klein. He'll take the three from the right side and bury it. Nice shot, Collier Klein. Boy, had some range on that. Big, big, big bucket for West Holmes right uh, there. That gets the Knights back within two, 22 to 20, 30 seconds to go. Deal's going to take his time walking across the timeline. Orwell want to play for one. Collier Miller's going to go out and apply the defense. Miller working on Deal. And doing a good job. Now to Gibson. Back up top to Deal. 15 seconds. Deal's going to work right side. Hands it to Slaughter. Now Davis. Davis to Slaughter. Right side. Nice stutter step to the hole. Shot no good. Oh, he foul hard. I was just getting ready to say West Holmes has a foul to give. A couple fouls to give. But you don't want to do that on a shooting foul. No. But better, better. I mean, that was going to be an easy layup. I mean, it's a good, good foul. Nothing malicious about it. Uh, but it gives Slaughter a chance to score two points here. Absolutely going to make him earn at the free throw line. Braylon Slaughter, the 5'7 sophomore for the Riders, makes the first one. These are Orville's first attempts from the charity strike tonight. And that'll give Slaughter his first point of the contest. Orville up now 23 to 20. Nick Amstutz will check out. Case McDaniel back in. Slaughter's second free throw attempt is good. Got them both. 24 20, eight seconds to go. Here comes Collier Klein. Across the timeline, right side. Now five seconds. Screened by Fair. Klein tried to get it inside. Got to be tipped away. Gibson steals it. He'll heave a deep three. He'll throw that over everything. And that's where the first half's going to end. Orville leads 24 to 20. We come back. We'll have your first half numbers after this right here on WKLM. Great products with local companies in shorter lead times. That's what you're getting when you buy your products at MRV Sunning Supply. Most sunning manufacturers are owned by large corporations, which means more hoops to jump through that bogs down the process. With all of the Provia products that they offer, MRV Sunning Supply has a direct connection with a local company with awesome siding, windows, and doors, giving you what you need when you need it. Support local at MRV Sunning Supply on County Road 624 in Middlesburg or on the web at MRV Sunning.com. Get your siding supplies from the siding guys. MRV Siding Supply. When it comes to service, nobody cares more than Village Motors in Millersburg. This is Deke Miller, and I'm proud to say that we have state-of-the-art equipment and factory-trained technicians working on your vehicle when you visit. And we also offer a variety of preventative maintenance programs designed to greatly reduce the cost of your service visits. We are competitive, convenient, and we care. So the next time you need your vehicle service, stop by and see us at Village Motors in Millersburg. At Promotion Therapy Services, customer service and specialized treatment options are what set us apart. We work hard for our patients day in and day out. Our team of physical and occupational therapists are conveniently located for you in the heart of Millersburg. Can't come to us? We'll come to you with our team of therapists who specialize in home health services. We make it easy to receive physical therapy, emphasizing a close relationship with your physician as well as helping you navigate the insurance process. Our team is excited to begin offering new services such as dry needling, sports-focused rehab, foot orthosis consultations, and taping. With questions, call us. 330-600-0844 or visit us online at promotion-therapy.com. We look forward to promoting a better you and would like to wish all winter sports a safe and healthy season. Have you experienced the difference of hometown independent pharmacy lately? If not, now is the perfect time to start. Premier Pharmacy inside Rhodes IGA is now open and accepting new patients. This is Joel Gauss from Premier Pharmacies in Berlin and Millersburg inviting you to come experience the Premier Pharmacy difference. We want to be your teammate as you navigate the complex world of healthcare, offering you consistent, fast service and always being available to answer whatever questions you may have. Call us or stop in today. We will transfer all your active prescriptions 
prescriptions from your current pharmacy so you don't have to worry about a thing. That's why we are Premier Pharmacy, your hometown independent pharmacy. There's nothing better than the sound of a hammer, a drill, and a saw. a and Builders in Berlin has been putting all those tools to work for the past 25 years. If you need re-roofing work done, a Builders is the place to call. They'll also do new homes for both residential and general contractors, along with pool buildings, decks, and custom framing. Call a Builders in Berlin at 893-2111. That's 893-2111. Your first half numbers. Scoring for West Holmes, they would be led in the first half by Nate Fair as he has seven points, a pair of twos and a three. Collier Klein has six points after that, and then Sam Sprang with three, Lynn Klein has two, and Collier Miller with two points for West Holmes, total of 20. For Orville, scoring total of 24, it's going to be Michael Deal. He has five points. The leading all scores for them is Taj Gibson. He did that all in the second period as he would hit three three-pointers to give him his nine-point total. Nick Amstutz has three. Malachi Gray with two. Braylon Cox has three points. And Braylon Slaughter with two points, respectively. Four Orville's scoring total of 24. Orville leads 24-20. Now for your first-half team numbers, here is Don Hall. Thank you very much, Troy. Once again, 24-20. Orville leading West Holmes at half. From behind the arc, West Holmes, 3 of 14 for 21%. Orville, 6 of 11 for 55%. Two-point field goals, West Holmes, 5 of 11 for 45%. Orville, 2 of 7 for 29%. From the charity strike, West Holmes, 1 of 5 for 20%. Orville, 2 of 2, 100%. Total rebounds, Orville's winning that 19 to West Holmes, 12. Total turnovers, Orville with 9, West Holmes with 5. Taking a look at your rebounding leaders here on the Orville side of things, Nick Amstutz has four rebounds to lead them. Case McDaniels would have three rebounds, as did Taj Gibson and Braylon Slaughter as well. For West Holmes, Coyer Miller has four rebounds to lead the way for them, three of them on the offensive board. Nate Fair has three rebounds, two of them coming on the offensive board as well. Well, West Holmes getting two offensive two rebounds. So, Don, West Holmes won the job on the boards here so far offensively. Well, they have offensively, but they are getting out rebounded 19 to 12, right. and Gibson came in and just pretty much just uh, dominated the, the, the defensive rebounding, came down and hit some threes. Uh, that was a big lift for Orville as well, but Orville's shooting a, a blistering 6 foot 11, 55 percent from behind the arc. Well, they're shooting well from out there, and you mentioned Gibson. I mean, he found that spot out here on the left side and stepped in, and he hit three in a row, and they look good. Yeah, the, the West Holmes is going to definitely have to sort of limit his touches right there. Uh, I, I'd almost uh, deny him the ball out there and make him hurt you from the inside because I haven't seen him do anything inside yet. Well, I mean, West Holmes has done a great job kind of spreading Orville out and then, you know, kind of pushing that pseudo zone at them, but uh, you know, Orville will shoot the basketball well over top of that. Yeah, right I think now. that's the reason why West Holmes might have got out of that yeah. uh, zone defense because Orville was sort of, you know, picking that apart. So when you look at West Holmes, you know, they, what do they need to do to get back in this game defensively? Well, right right now, uh, one, one of five from the free throw line. That, that's not going to get you a whole lot of victories right there. But uh, you still need to keep attacking that hoop. Don't settle for that three-point uh, uh, field goal. I mean, it's like I told you just before we came on air here, uh, if you'd have told me that West Holmes has more three-point attempts than Orville did at halftime, I'd have probably called you a liar because <laughs> West Holmes does have 14 and Orville only has 11. And I thought Orville shot more uh, three-point attempts, and that's not true. So West Holmes doesn't need to just settle for that three. You know, if that three is not there, you got to take what the defense gives you. Might be a little nice, you know, two dribbles and a ten-footer. Well, Orville was was very efficient out there from three, but for West Holmes, you know, we saw them leave a lot of points lay in the paint, just not being able to finish inside. And you know, if they do that, it's a different ball game right now. It is, and and it is. It, it, and I I know a couple of those were Colliers, and then I think Nate had a few of those, and and they're, they're probably upset at themselves because normally they'll make those those uh, you know contact shots and get that chance for that and one hasn't uh, happened here especially in this first half so we'll see what happens in that second half. Well this has been a good game the way we thought it would be here 24-20 at halftime we'll step aside when we come back it'll be second half action coming your way here on WKLM. Melway Paving Company is a well-known asphalt paving contractor for homes in surrounding counties since 1964 specializing in asphalt paving chip and seal and seal coating. For your next paving project, call Melway Paving at 330-279-9000. Melway Paving is a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. 
Stop in all this week for these great savings at Rody's IGA. Hi, this is Scott Rody, and we have 9 to 11 ounce Fresh Express Premium Romaine or Green and Crisp Salad Blends, two for $3. 8 ounce IGA Shredded Cheese, two for $4. 24 ounce Smith Sour Cream or French Onion Dip, three sixty nine. We also have Baby Back Pork Ribs for two ninety nine dollars a pound. Bob Evans Mashed Potatoes or Mac and Cheese, three ninety nine. dollars 16 ounce package of Hillandale Sliced Bacon, three ninety nine. dollars 16 ounce Cooked Cocktail Shrimp, four ninety nine. dollars And 16 ounce Sea Best Tilapia Filet for $3.99. That's now through Sunday at Rudy's IG Marketplace in Millersburg. With today's market instability, many homeowners are looking to upgrade their existing home rather than buy or build a new one. At Home Siding Contractors, we know choosing the many colors and styles of siding, replacement windows and doors can be overwhelming. At Home Siding Contractors, we can help make that decision easier. Durability, beauty, and low maintenance over time describes our products the best. Call Home Siding Contractors today at 888-725-6619 and let our professional staff help upgrade your home today. Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center continues to offer the convenience of two great locations on US 62 in Weinsburg and on County Road 201 in Berlin. The Weinsburg shop will take care of heavy-duty truck and fleet customers from 7 a.m. to midnight, while the Berlin facility will repair auto and light trucks from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Contact them in Weinsburg at 359-5421 or in Berlin at 674-6970. That's Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center in Weinsburg and Berlin. We'll just recap the other games around the area here again tonight. A light, light day of basketball action as the boys is getting ready to wrap up their season, regular season, as they get ready for tournaments as well. But Dalton's at Wayne Dale tonight. Worcester's at Jackson. Malvern's at River. And Strasburg is at Buckeye Trail. Of course, West Holmes and Orville here. Orville leading 24-20 at halftime. And tune-up game for West well, for both schools here as well, Donnie. But West Holmes looking to gain a little momentum going into tournament time. They'll play this Saturday, winning either the, the winner of Morgan or Maysville. And then, of course, a full day of basketball action here tomorrow on the girls' side of things. Yeah, that, that's true. And uh, if any Orville listeners are on here, I believe Orville plays... Tuesday, Wednesday, next week against uh, Holy Name in their first sectional tournament game. Tournament time is upon us here. Most regular season games for the boys will wrap up between today and tomorrow. And then it's full-blown tournament action here on WKLM. Be sure to check out our WKLM FM webpage. Check our broadcast schedule for all the upcoming games. We'll remind you again this tonight's game being broadcast. On YouTube Live by our good friends at Claxon Communication, Casey Claxon and Aiden Garibrand here. Brogan Steimel's back at Sports Central at WKLM, taking care of business there and doing a great job as always. Troy Fritz and Don Hall for the broadcast here. Glad to have you with us tonight, a Friday evening of boys basketball. It doesn't get any better than this, West Holmes and Orville. And we are about to get underway here. Both teams on the floor, Orville coming out. They're going to send a deal, Amstutz. Malachi Gray, Taj Gibson, and Braylon Slaughter to the floor. West Holmes is going to send out Coyer Miller, Sam Spring, Collier Klein, Wyatt Slough, and Nate Fair, their senior class. Orville basketball, they'll have it slide light out of bounds, and here we go. Deal will have it for Orville. They'll be going from left to right. Deal moves to the right side, hands it to Slaughter. Now bounce pass to Gibson. Now there goes Gray cutting back, going to the left. There's a good set play. Boy, beautiful set play, executed perfectly. Four roll back up, 26-20. Gray now has four points. Call your climb front court for West Holmes. Try to go inside the slough, taken away by Gibson. Gibson out of there in a hurry, coast to coast to the line, laying glass, right side, no good. Here comes Call your climb with the rebound. Boy, Slaughter moves well for a big man. Spring has it now, swings on the left side to Coyer Miller. Now Collier Klein, bounce pass inside, Nate Fair reverse play. I mean, that all started with Collier Klein getting into the middle, getting into the paint, and everybody claps on him, and nice easy pass, and easy layup for Nate. Penetration, ball move at 22-26. Now we're on the lead. This is going to be Gray. Gray has it on the right side, guarded by Slough. Gray still looking inside, taken away by Collier Miller. More defense by Miller. That's 10th turnover by Orville. There comes Sam Spring. He'll not have it knocked out of his hand. That's going to be picked up by Gray. Turnover West Holmes. Up ahead, deal right side. Three ball, front iron, no good. He'll get an offensive rebound. Tried to throw it back inside. That was broken up by Slough and out of bounds 
off of West Holmes. Yeah, Wilbur loves to push that tempo down there, and if they have that open look from three, they're going to just pull the trigger on that. They'll fire them up in a hurry. It'll be Orville basketball. They're going to be set up deep down in the corner at the end of their bench, and this will be Amstutz. 6-1 senior set to inbounds for Orville. Now this will be Dio high on the right, guarded by Coyer Miller. Deal swings it left side to Slaughter. Slaughter will back it out. Now penetrate. Goes right side. Tried to fight Amstutz going to the baseline. Missed him. Turnover Red Riders. I, I think he was have, I, anticipating Amstutz to cut. Yep. Did not happen. Absolutely. A little eye contact. Didn't happen there. Ball goes back over to West Holmes. They down four. 26-22. Six and a half to go. Period number three. Coyer Miller now to Nate Fair on the baseline. Back up top. Call your Klein. Schlau. Right side. Sprang. Spring jab step, he'll go to the left. The inside will go fair. Nice pass up and in. Boy, Nate Fair can make a living just hanging inside that paint. Great look inside by Sam Spring, giving the assist. West Holmes back within two, 26 24. Deal. Bounce pass high on the right. This is Malachi Gray, guarded by Schlau. Inside Gibson. Fair on the defense. Couldn't handle that. Up well, and in. I'll tell you what, that was a nice little curl by Gibson and good finish as well. West Holmes the other direction. Sam Spring has on the right wing. He'll take the three ball. Back iron, no good. And be knocked out of bounds off of Orville. Those of will stay with West Holmes. West Holmes basketball. Amstutz and Stair battled, Fair battled for that one. It'll be Knights basketball. They'll be baseline out of bounds. Left side of their buckets, Collier Klein. He'll inbound in the right corner to Schlau. Now Spring. Swing it right side, Collier Klein. He'll go foul line out of the left. We're going to get a blocking foul on Slaughter. Yeah. Was on Slaughter. Slaughter. I'll tell you what, his dad, if I'm not mistaken, Sly Slaughter, coach at Oroville, one of the best athletes to ever come out up there, and a great guy. I see him down here in the stands. Uh, so good, good bloodlines. Absolutely. <laughs> Remember that name well from back in the day. Nate Fair now with the basketball for West Holmes. He'll have it high on the right side. Tipped away. He'll get it back now. Give it up to Collier Klein. Collier Klein, top of the key. He'll swing it right side. Sam Spring. Spring will work off the screen by Schlau. He'll bring it up top. Now Coyer Miller high on the left. Inside will go to Nate Fair on the left block. Turn around. Shot off the glass. And then nice strong move by Fair. I tell you what, Nate Fair has come to play in this second half. Nate Fair is up to 13 points on the night. West Holmes down to 28-26. The right side, this is going to be Nick Amstutz. Up top, Taj Gibson. Now swing it right left side to Malachi Gray. We got a whistle on what? They're going to get, a, I think, a screen. They did. They got an illegal yeah, screen on Slaughter. That'll be the 12th turnover for Orville. So break for the Knights. It'll go back over them. They'll have a chance to tie with a two or take a lead with three. Slaughter's going to check out. That's going to be his third foul. So replacing him is going to be the six-foot freshman, Case McDaniel, for the Red Riders. Call your client will work it across the timeline for West Holmes. He'll give it up high on the right to Spring. He'll stop and pop from three, top of the key, in and out. Ball tipped around, loose in the floor, and it's going to be thrown off of Collier Klein. It'll stay, it'll go to Orville. Actually, they threw it off of Collier Miller. Don't let your home be without power. Call Holmesville Electric, your local Generac automatic standby generator dealer. Holmesville Electric has factory certified technicians and carries a full line of parts and service kits for all your Generac needs. Call them today at 330-279-4522. Gibson now has the basketball for Orville, top the key. He'll throw it down the right corner to McDaniel, and he just lost it. Yeah, trying to get before he truly had the, the ball in both hands. 13th turnover for Orville. He was looking to make that next pass and didn't look at him. Coyer Miller will check out for the Knights. Lynn Klein will check in. 4.22 to go, 28-26. We've got a good one from the dungeon. Sam Spring will give it back at the Nate Fair. Now on the left wing will go to Lynn Klein. Klein tried to get it inside. Bounce pass went off of his own hand after the deflection. Turnover, West Holmes. Eighth turnover for West Holmes. West Holmes done a pretty good job taking care of the basketball thus far tonight. Only their eighth turnover. Overall basketball now. This will be deal. Give it up to McDaniels. Now he'll work it around to the right side. He'll hand it off to Malachi Gray, and we're going to have a timeout by Orville. They want to talk about it. 3.58 to go here, period number three. Orville up 28-26. It's boys' high school basketball here on WKLM. 
At Mack Oil Field Service, they offer specialized trucking, water hauling, dirt work, and general oil field service in New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio. They have the equipment and manpower to tackle any task handed to them. The future lies in the hands of our youth, and Mack Oil Field Service is proud to support them. Call Mack Oil Field Service for all your oil field needs at 330-674-7371. That's 330-674-7371. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving a persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MEB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MEB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. It's Orville basketball at a timeout. This will be Deal. He'll work to the left side now give it up to McDaniels. Back up to Deal up top. Deal work right now. McDaniels down the right corner. Now inside, they're going to give it to Gray. Malachi Gray went up against Slough. He got fouled. Yeah, yeah. Wyatt's going to have to use his feet and get around Gray instead of standing behind him. But talking about Wyatt Slough, Don, he's played pretty physical and done a good job for West Ham tonight. This, this is his game. This is what he is. He likes that contact. He's a big old farm boy, and, and, he, and he does. He likes the man in the middle, but he needs to get in front of, of Gray right there. Gray sends the first one away and gets that. You know, I think he'll take that farm boy compliment, comment with a compliment, Donnie. <laughs> and he's a good farm boy, yes, too. He is. A hardworking man. Good young man, Wyatt Slough, one of our seniors here tonight. He'll check out for West Holmes. In will be Nate Sprang now. Second free throw attempt up on the way is no good. The rebound's going to come down to Amstutz. He's going to swing it right side now to deal. He's going to look inside to Gray and Gray went up the shot. He's going to be fouled again. He'll go back to the free throw line. Malachi Gray, a good looking freshman. Good looking freshman. Six foot two inch freshman. Averaging almost ten points a game, but I mean just very strong and very quick for very, being as big and as young as he is. Yeah, absolutely. His quickness impresses me. That's a name you're going to hear for a while. He'll have two more free throws coming. That one up on the way back. Iron no good. He'll have one more free throw remaining. Reminder to stay tuned for our player of the game tonight. That's going to be brought to you by SixMoneys.com. Check them out online at SixMoneys.com, where quality and service never go out of style. All your client will bring it up for West Holmes. Now he'll work it across the timeline, high on the right. Now Sam Spring. West Holmes down three, 29-26, 3.22 to go. Nate Fair now has it high on the left. Looking to give it up. He can't get rid of it. He'll keep it now. Go left side. Sam Sprang now left side. Three ball. Misses everything. Rebound still loose on the floor. Picked up by Lynn Klein. Ooh, quick, quick whistle on the jump ball. Stay with West Holmes. Still give Lynn Klein an offensive rebound. Absolutely. Come out of there just as when he blew the whistle. That'll stay with the Knights. It'll be Collier Klein now. Baseline out of bounds. Right side of the bucket. Now Klein. Back to Klein. Call your client will work top of the key. Now Lynn Klein down the right corner. Bounce pass inside to Fair. He'll back down McDaniels up off the glass. Up and in and score. I tell you, Nate's got that look in his eye. He's posting hard and he's finishing even harder. Nate is that player. You can tell when he's got that look done. He plays with confidence. He's hard to stop. Oh, we were just talking about that him off air about how, well, you know, he's been sort of dominating in the third quarter inside, and I'd be surprised if he just didn't go inside post. Well, that's exactly what he did. And West Holmes needs to keep doing that, Donnie. To your point, the Norville has really not stopped him effectively inside yet. Free throw attempt on the way. No good. The rebound comes down to Lynn Klein. Now Nate Fair has it back. Sam Spring, top of the key, three ball. In and out, no good. That goes out of bounds towards the West Holmes bench. It'll be Orville basketball. Oh, that would have been a big one. Boy, that would have been a crowd pleaser, I'll tell you that. He had a good look, just didn't get it to drop. It was halfway down, spit it back out. Yeah, West Holmes needs to get a stop right here. All you do is, is get stops and go down and score. 29-28, Orville lead under three to go. This will be Amstutz with the basketball. Guarded by Spring, and there's going to be an offensive yeah, push foul. Off. Pushing yeah, they, off on Nate Spring, I believe. They did. They, I think they got Davis. Well, they got Taj Gibson. Wow. 
somewhere away from the ball. I didn't see that one. That's their 14th turnover. And that is the fourth team foul for Orville. So one more of those in this quarter that'll send West Holmes to the free throw line shooting too. The Knights only have two team fouls. 2.30 to go. West Holmes down one. This is Lynn Klein with the basketball. Now Nate Fair. Thought about the three. Now Lynn Klein right side, 10 footer. Got it. Boy, nice little give and go between Lynn and Nate. And West Holmes with their first lead here in the second half. They're up 30 to 29. They've clawed their way back. Now McDaniel, hard to the hole on the right. Taken away, Sam Sprang. He's all alone, front court, line, lane, glass, and got one. it. And he's fouled, how about that? Defensive play by Sam Sprang. He'll head to the free throw line for the old fashioned attempted three. How about that defense by Sprang? Oh, that's good, and plus a nice little finish with, uh, with, you know, defense breathing down your back. Free throw attempt up on the way, drained it. Sprang now has six. West Holmes, a little momentum right here. It's got the crowd into it now. The student section's a little louder. Everybody's a little vested more into the game. Uh, absolutely. Now a three-point or four-point lead, 33-29, two minutes to go. West Holmes has come storming back. There's Deal. He'll work it on the right side. He'll hand it off to McDaniel. Double teamed up top now to Gibson. Gibson left side, Deal. Guarded by Klein. Good job by Nate Fair. Takeaway, then get it right back to Gibson. Ooh, oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. I hope he's okay. How about that? Call your Klein. No fear. He took one right <laughs> in the face, and that's what you got to do to Sacramento. Especially when Collier earlier in the year, you know, had a little incident down there where he came down and smashed his face on the floor and chipped a tooth. Well, I'll um, tell you what, we know he's a tough kid, and boy, did he take a hit from Gibson. And you know what, Donnie? Gibson's the one that got the loose end of that. He's going to the locker room right now. Hope he's all right. What a collision. Collier Klein now, he'll go to the right side with the basketball. Gibson heads to the locker room for Orville after that collision. Now Nate Fair. Collier Klein, top of the key. He'll go foul line all the way. The whole shot up. He's fouled. I think he's got a look in his eye now, Donnie. Well, I hate to see he's got that, he, he, that eye of the tiger. I mean, he, he's just he's ready to go right now. I think uh, uh, you poked the bear a little too much. <laughs> Nothing like a good smack in the mouth to wake somebody up, and he got one there. Collier Klein goes to the free throw line to shoot two. He'll have a chance to put West Holmes up six. He got the first one. I see Gibson come back out. Second free throw attempt is short, and I say it didn't hit anything, so Orville will have it out of bounds. Yeah, Gibson come back out of the locker room. He's okay. Don, that might have been as hard a collision as I've seen yeah, this it's, year. It's even harder than I saw some on the football field, to be honest <laughs> with you. 34-29, West Holmes up a minute 20 to go here, third period. McDaniel for Orville, top the key, he'll work it right side. This will be Braden Cox, work against left side against Sprang, turn around jumper inside the paint is good. Boy, really, really super nice move by Braden Cox to get into the key, a nice little spin move and finish. 34-31, Knights, fair, top of the key, guarded by Gray. Call your client, left wing, three ball, back iron, no good, a rebound deal. Here comes Orville, under a minute to go. Trails by three, deal, front court. Left side, McDaniels, deep three, left wing. Front iron, no good, rebound, Sam Sprang. Sprang will give it up to Collier Klein in the backcourt. He'll walk it across the timeline. West Holmes will slow it down. See if West Holmes goes for one right here. Nope. Klein will penetrate, now kick it back up top to Fair. Nate Fair will hold it out by half court, no count, so he'll hold the basketball, 30 seconds. Now we've got a count, he'll dribble. Right side, Sprang. Sprang, jab step. Official still counting. He'll move it. Ooh. And it's going to be taken away by Deal. Deal all the way to the hole, up and in. That was just too long of a pass for Sam to make right there. All the way across the court. Orville got it. They trail by one, 34-33, eight seconds. Here's Collier Klein. Left side, foul line, reverse dribble to the paint. Into the paint, shot up, in by Klein, and got it. And that's where the third period's going to end. West Holmes will take a lead, 36-33. Don't go away. It's boys' high school basketball here on WKLM.
Everyone knows that Mellersburg Tire Service sells a lot of farm tires like BKT, Seat, Firestone, Michelin, Titan, Galaxy, D-Stone, and Lions. Hi, this is Brad Smucker from Mellersburg Tire Service, and we also sold over 10,000 heavy-duty truck tires last year in 29 different brands. We can mount them in our truck bay, or we can drop them off. If it runs on tires, Mellersburg Tire Service has it, or we can get it from the many suppliers that we have available. Plus, we sell tires in Ohio and all the surrounding states. When you want the best, call Mellersburg Tire Service at 330-674-1085 and talk to one of our knowledgeable sales staff celebrating our 70th year in the tire business. Call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your Ream Pro partner, and you know you're calling the very best. Berlin Heating and Cooling services and installs Ream and all other types of furnaces and equipment. Berlin Heating and Cooling, they're your local team you can trust. Call them today at 330-893-3057. That's 330-893-3057. Quick lube. While they're asked about their Starbright Unlimited Car Wash plan and take care of the outside of that vehicle as well. Done fast, done right, and you're back on the road. Southside Quick Lube on State Route 83 in Mellersburg. Third quarter numbers courtesy of Don Hall had West Holmes going 0 of 5 behind the arc while Orville was 0 of 2. West Holmes a red hot 7 of 7 from the field while Orville was 4 of 4. West Holmes 2 of 4 from the free throw line. The Riders went 1 of 4. Seven rebounds for the Knights, six for Orville, seven turnovers for the Red Riders, only four for the Knights. Slaughter with the basketball. He'll give it up to Gibson. Inside it'll go to Gray. Shot of the left block up and in by Gray. Boy, I tell you, the more I see him play, the more I really, really like him. He is a strong-looking freshman. Lead down to one, 36-35, West Holmes basketball. Lynn Klein with it on the right wing. Now Nate Fair. Call your Klein top of the key. He'll work right side, Lynn Klein, bounce pass, Sam Sprang, right block, turn around jumper, got it. Boy, that's what Sam, he's probably one of the best, actually probably is the best player on the Knights team post-wise. Nice post move by Sprang, he is now up to eight points. West Holmes lead back to three, 38-35. This is Gray, guarded by Sprang, now Gibson, guarded by Fair. baseline to Slaughter, knocked out of his hands, picked up by Lynn Klein, turnover Orville. West Holmes defense forces another one. Call your Klein now to Sam Sprang. Lynn Klein, top of the key. Now Nate Fair. Fair will work it back to the right side. Give it up to Lynn Klein on the right wing. He'll dribble left hand into the paint. This is going to be Nate Sprang. Three ball left. Four. Got it! Oh, my gosh. What a big shot for the West Holmes freshman. How about that? Big bucket. 41-35. West Holmes lead. Deal. Now to Slaughter. Slaughter goes right side against Collier Klein. He took it away. They're going to say jump ball. Turnover Orville goes to West Holmes. The 18th turnover for Orville. How about the defense by West Holmes these last three possessions? I mean, that, that's what you need to do. I mean, it, it sounds so simple to get stops and go down to score, but it's actually really, really hard to do. <laughs> Indeed it is. Now Nate Fair, he'll bring it up against Gibson. He'll go left hand into the paint, kick it back up. Nate Sprang now to Sam. Sam Sprang. Inside to Fair, tipped it around, tipped around. Ah, they're going to say Fair went out of bounds. Oh, man, I, I don't know. I thought he had, he had established hmm. his feet inside, but maybe not. He's a little closer than I am. Close call. Yeah, turnover for West Holmes. Tenth turnover for West Holmes. 41-35 lead for the Knights. Here's Deal. Deal now to Gray. They're going to get Sam Sprang on the holdout on the right wing. Well, a good job of Sam coming out. Not a bad foul. Not a bad foul. Going out there, very active hands. Nothing hurt right there. I like the foul because the freshman got right by him, and he just grabbed him. Nothing wrong with that. Anthony Davis now will inbound for Orville on the sideline right in front of the Riders bench. He'll be guarded by Nate Sprang. Throw it all the way across the deal down the right side, and he walked. Yeah, the one step too many. I think he was uh, thought he was more wide open than what he truly was. I'm not sure who closed out of him. That was a great job, though. He was he was looking for a layup that wasn't there. Manny Camacho will check in for the Knights. Out will go Nate Spring. Camacho, the six foot four inch sophomore. They're going to match him up on Taj Gibson. Gray will take Fair. Fair hands it off to Lynn Klein. Now Camacho, top of the key, looks inside Fair. Has it on the right block. Kicks it back out. Sam Spring, he'll work the left side. Three ball from the left side, off the iron, no good. And there's an over the back on Fair. And Nate knew it. He got caught out of position, tried to reach over the back, get the rebound. 
I mean, good job by West Holmes. They saw that mismatch with Gray on top uh, on fair. And, uh, I mean, how, how about the confidence from Coach Rizal to let that freshman guard West Holmes, probably best offensive player tonight. Uh, but that's what West Holmes tried to isolate that, and Orville did a good job of stopping it. Third foul on fair. He'll need to be careful not to pick up any more here too soon. Slaughter for Orville. Have it on the right side. They tried to go inside to Gray. He was wide open. They just missed him. Break for West Holmes. 20th turnover for Orville compared to 10 for West Holmes. West Holmes defense is getting it done here, forcing those 20 turnovers. And taking good care of the basketball themselves. Only 10 thus far. Collier Klein now working against Deal into the front court. And there's a reach in by Deal. Yeah, Collier Klein said that if you ever watch him dribble the ball, he stays so low, and that is so hard to stop when you're low. When they're lower, the lower you are, the stronger you get, and the quicker you are. And he is quick with the basketball. That's a good observation, Donnie. He plays extremely low with the ball, and he makes it hard to defend. And he will inbound it over on the right sideline. He'll get it into Sam Spring, and here we go. 5.30 to go in a ball game. This will be Collier Klein on the left wing. Jab step. He'll go left side. Reverse spin into the paint. Right hand shot. Bounces around. No good. Rebound's going to come down to Cox. Cox across the timeline for Orville. Now he'll have it in the front court on the left wing. Bounce pass up top. It'll go to Amstutz. Down the right corner. Taj Gibson. Three ball. Back iron. No good. Rebound wing Klein. Klein will give it up to Collier Klein in the back court. Five minutes to go. Now Nate Fair on the left wing. He'll go by Gray, hard to the hole on the right, inside to Camacho, good pass, and Camacho walked, took an extra step. I'm not sure Manny was uh, ready for that pass. Uh, good penetration by Nate. Uh, just a little fumble there. He wasn't ready for it, but it was a good pass. That was a good look by Nate Fair to find him open. Just couldn't handle it. Deal will now bring it up here for Oroville. He'll work it on the right timeline across to Cox. Now Malachi Gray up top, Taj Gibson. Swing it left side to Amstutz. Nick Amstutz, he'll head off on the left side now. This is Braden Cox with the basketball. 4.30 to go. Inside Taj Gibson, right-hander up and in from two feet. Give him 11. 41-37 lead for the Knights. And this will be Collier Klein. Now left side, Ling Klein. Foul line extended left, up top to Fair. Fair jab step all the way to the whole right side. Nice pump fake up off the glass and fought for no good. Rebound will come down to Cox. He still has it underneath and what? I'm going to say it went out of bounds off of the West Holmes. Official's going to come uh, after some help. Go, yeah, he, and he, as he should, as he should. He was blocked out. The crowd thought they saw something else, so he's doing the right thing and asking his partners what they saw. That's good work by an officiating crew. Absolutely, yes. I mean, that's the right call. I mean, Orville might not like that, but that is the right call. It takes a lot of guts to do that. It does. They reversed it after the officials talked about it. That's good work by an officiating crew when they'll take time out and ask what each other saw. I like it. So ball goes back to West Holmes. Call your client. will have it left side of the basket. Sam Sprang, baseline, running one hand with the right hand, no good. Rebound Manny Camacho, shot up, no good, but he's fouled. Offensive board for Camacho. Gives West Holmes second chance again. Actually, we're going to go to the free throw line and see if Manny can, can complete these uh, two free throws. Wasn't sure if they got that on the floor or not, but they got him in the act of shooting, so he will shoot two. Manny Camacho averages 5.3 a game for the Knights. Misses the front end. Camacho with one more remaining. Eyes it, shoots it, rattles around, no good. Missed him both. Taj Gibson with the rebound. Here comes Deal. Orville looking to close the lead to two. Deal lost it up top, loose on the floor, still loose. Fought for, picked up by Camacho. And here comes the Knights. Call your Klein, cross the timeline. Got numbers, right side, fair, 12 footer, shot on the way, no good. Ball loose on the floor, picked up by Collier Klein. Offensive board for the Knights. 3.30 to go. West Holmes clinging to a four point lead. Klein will back it up and reset the offense. Now he'll work to the right side. Here's Fair. Nate Fair on the right, now back to Collier Klein. Klein directing traffic. He points Fair down low. Now here goes Klein into the paint, and he's going to be fouled on the floor. 
Collier saw that mismatch. He had the 6'6 guy on him, out 25 feet away from the basket, put the ball on the floor and got fouled. And using his quickness to get that done, the third team foul on Orville. Third team foul on Malachi Gray. Sam Spring got the inbound pass. He goes baseline, nowhere to go. Back up top, Collier Klein. Now fair, left side, Lynn Klein. Klein will bring it back up top. Camacho, right wing, Sam Spring. Spring pulls around the screen by Camacho up top. Now right wing will go to Klein. Inside Camacho on Gibson. Turn around, jump shot. Oh, got it! Oh, oh, oh. What a big shot by Manny Camacho. Good time to get his first two points of the game. Pushes the lead back to six for West Holmes. Nice move by the sophomore Camacho. That's his first two. Cox, left side for Orville. Guarded by Collier Klein. He'll swing to the right. Now back up top. This is Malachi Gray. Three ball, top of the key. In and out. Nate Fair with the rebound. Knights up six with the basketball, 2.20 to go. Collier Klein, he'll work against Deal on the right side. Now back to Les, cross the timeline, now the foul line. He'll pull it back out. West Holmes wants to work clock. Klein, dribble drive, penetration, knocked out of his hands. And another call they're going to stay to order. They're going to talk about this one. I think they'll reverse it. I think so too. Let's see what they do. Klein went to the basket. It was knocked out of his hands from behind. One official thinks it went off of Klein. The other thinks it went off of Red Rider. Yeah. It I went mean, off that's, of Red Rider. Once again, Orville doesn't like that call, but that is the correct call. Another good from networking. From my vantage point. Well, networking <laughs> by the officials. They're talking about it. Yeah. So Collier Klein will have a baseline out of bounds. This will be Sam Spring. Spring now back to Collier Klein. He'll have it high on the left. Inside Camacho. Guarded by Gibson. That one's blocked. Gibson gets the rebound. Now here comes Gibson with the ball. Up ahead to Deal on the right side. Now Amstutz. Great corner inside to Gray. Knocked away by Camacho. Good defense. Well, Manny Camacho has provided a nice spark coming off the bench. I tell you what, he, he's come in and, and played not like a sophomore. So Orville basketball. This will be Cox on the baseline. He'll throw it way up top. That'll go into the backcourt. Uh -oh. Take it away uh -oh. by Fair. Oh, blocked by Gibson. Are they going to get a foul? I think they yeah, are. They are going to get fouled. Nate was going to try to dunk that. You think so? I guarantee you he, uh, <laughs> he took one across the face there. I, hope he, I don't know if he's got a little blood there or not. Well, Nate's a tough kid, but Donnie, I can see that too. He was yeah. going to try and throw it down, and Gibson was saying none of that. He took a swipe at it and got the foul. That's going to be three on Gibson. That sends Nate Frayer to the free throw line. First one front iron, no West good. West Holmes, their own worst ending from the free throw line tonight. Nate's currently 0 of 2. West Holmes is 3 of, what, 11, 12? West Holmes needs to make this one here. Fair. Back iron, no good. Rebound deal. Lead remains at 6. There's deal into the front court. Lynn Klein falls down the defense, regains himself. Now Cox. Gibson, left wing three ball on the way. Short off the iron, no good. Rebound Nate Fair. There's a man on the board for West Holmes here. Now call your Klein. A minute 30 to go. Lynn Klein into the front court. Knights fans encouraging the Knights to play defense. Call your Klein. He'll hold it out by half court looking for the foul. There it is. And timeout. that'll be team foul number five on Orville. Or do they call timeout? What do we got? Timeout. They got the timeout before the foul call, yes, so it is a timeout. So we got a timeout on the floor, 1.18 to go. We'll take a break. Don't go away. It's Boys High School Basketball here on WKLM. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. West Holmes basketball coming out of the timeout. This will be Collier Klein. He'll throw it in the backcourt to Nate Fair. Fair across the timeline. Now Nate, Nate Sprang. Or now Nate Fair on the right side. Excuse me, Sam Sprang up top. Now Collier Klein. 
And there's a foul on Klein. And putting Collier to the free throw line. Collier tonight, currently two of four from the charity stripe. This can make it. He just makes one of these and make it a three possession game. Collier Klein, a six foot senior for West Holmes, averages 12 and a half a game. He's got 10 tonight. First one up on the way, got it. That's a big one. The biggest point of the night so far right there. Absolutely. Pushes the lead to 7, 44-37, a minute six to go. Collier Klein eyes it, shoots it, front iron, no good. <laughs> Rebound, Nate Fair, offensive board. A man on the boards, Collier Klein up top. Klein penetrates, foul line, Manny Camacho looked on the baseline, now he'll throw it back up top. Oh, what an athletic move by Nate. Nice save by Fair, and then Collier Klein double dribbled. Caught it with two hands and threw it to the floor. That's a good call. Yeah, the worst possible thing happened for West Holmes did happen right there, that turnover. Absolutely. Right, come down and just play good, solid defense. They got two fouls to waste if needed. This will be deal for Orville. He'll bring it into the front court, left side. Orville down seven. Omstutz, left side Cox to the hole. Kick it down to the right corner. Deal, three ball from the right corner. Got it! Oh, big, big, big shot for Deal and Orville. Timeout, Orville. 44 40. Don't go away. Boys basketball here on WKLM. Everywhere, every day, someone somewhere needs someone to care. Young people are especially desirous of someone to show an interest in what they do, where they are going, and what they will become. Denco Marketing of Millersburg believes taking that interest in a young person can make all the difference. Which young person needs your time and interest? Whichever one or ones you can give it to. They'll take care of the rest. Supporting young people in all endeavors is especially important to Denco Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home. Be sure to stop by the jewelry store during Girls' Night Out tomorrow, February 24th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and get 50% off fashion jewelry plus ear piercing, dream leather custom purse bar, and, a, and bra pong. That's a jewelry store on West Jackson Street in historic downtown Millersburg. Call your Klein with the basketball for West Holmes in the backcourt, guarded by Deal, and there's oh. a push off by Klein. He threw that arm out there, and that is the right call. He did. Yep, he did. I mean, it was getting to the point where uh, it was almost a 10-second count. The so Orville gets a break there. Two-possession ball game. They're down four, 31 seconds to go, but they'll have the ball back. This will be Cox now sideline out of bounds at half court for Orville. Inside the deal. Deal on the right side. He'll throw up the running one-hander from the right side. No good. Nate Fair with the rebound. Now call your Klein. Klein up ahead, front court. Lynn Klein, left wing, back up to Collier Klein, 19 seconds. They'll chase him, fouled up there by Malachi Gray. Yeah, Collier's last free throw made this a two-possession game. Makes both of these. It'll still be a two-possession game, but it'll be two threes, though. West Holmes did not seem, but Sam Sprang was staying all alone down underneath the back, they just couldn't get him the ball. There's Collier Klein. Eyes it, shoots it, got it. Clutch. 45-40. Camacho and Lynn Klein will check out. Coyer Miller checks in with Wyatt Slough. Klein, free throw on the way. Got them both. Good half-court defense right here. Defend to three. Deal. Front court for Orgo. Right side. 14 yep, seconds. It, and he carry. turned it over. Carried the basketball. Ball goes back to the Knights. Taj Gibson will check out. Case McDaniel will check in for the Red Riders. Ball goes back to the Knights. 13 seconds to go. Be careful not to push off here. And there's a foul by Deal in the backcourt. They're going to foul Collier Klein. They'll send him back to the free throw line. He'll try and ice it for the Knights. Boy, Deal, Deal's very active. But very quick, nice little player. Orville has some good-looking athletes on that side of the floor. We'll hear some things about them in the future. Absolutely. But for West Holmes, trying to close it out here on senior night, they have their five seniors on the floor. Collier Klein, first free throw attempt, front iron, back iron, bounced off the rim, no good. Taj Gibson will check back in. Out will go Case McDaniel. Nate Fair on the floor. Wyatt Slough, Coyer Miller, Sam Sprang. Free throw attempt, no good. Nate Fair tried to get the offensive board and went over the back of Gray. 
Nothing hurt there. No, no free throws. They still got to go the full court here. That's just the fourth foul on West Holmes. Next one will put Orville at the line. The Knights up six with 11 seconds to go. And this will be Amstutz. He'll roll it in to Deal. Deal. Timeline left. Coyer Miller on the defense. Deep three left side. No good. Rebound call your climb. He'll pull it down. He'll be fouled with three seconds left. And he'll head back to the other end to shoot free throws. West Holmes has pretty well got this one in the bag, and they're going to empty their bench. We're going to let these seniors get their uh, last little farewell, maybe. Perhaps. Or maybe not. Coach Belden talking to the officials. He wants to make sure he can bring them all off as he can. It'll be this shot right now. Wow. Collier Klein misses the first free throw attempt. In's going to be Nate Sprang. Out will come Nate Fair. What an outing by Nate Fair coming out to a nice ovation. Yeah, Happy camper. Time. Nice. Coyer Miller coming out of the ball game. Now Sam Sprang. Now Wyatt Schlau. We got one for Klein yet. Billy Patton there. Call your Klein at the free throw line. Let's see how bad he wants to come out. Oh, yeah. Made it. Patton in the game, and out comes Call Your Klein after the made free throw attempt. West Holmes up 47 40. Nice hug from mom at the bench. That's a good scene. There's a ball inbounded for Orville. Two seconds to half court. Deal a long three on the way. And he made it from half court. Count it. But that's going to be too little, too late. West Holmes is going to get the victory 47 43. Stay tuned. We'll come back and wrap it up from the dungeon after this here on WKLM. EcoSeal Home Solutions has been serving all of Northeast and Central Ohio as the leader in foundation waterproofing and repair, basement exit systems, and gravel delivery. Whether you're building a new home or your existing home's foundation and basement is in need of some TLC, EcoSeal has the answer. For more information or to schedule a free estimate, call 330-893-SEAL. That's 330-893-7325. Did you know that one of the nation's top hospitals was founded right here in Holmes County? It's true. Pomerine Hospital was recently named the top 20 rural and community hospital by the National Rural Health Association. For 75 years, Pomerine has applied the latest medical expertise to meet the unique needs of our community. And today, they continue to lead the way in reliable patient outcomes, from outpatient services to life-saving surgeries. Learn more about the many ways Pomerine provides award-winning care right in your backyard. Visit pomerinehospital.org. Since 1991, the Holmes County Education and Community Foundation has awarded more than $11 million in scholarships to nearly 2,800 Holmes County residents pursuing higher education. Scholarship applications for the 2024-2025 academic year will open in January. To apply, please visit our website at www.hcef.net. Holmes County residents and Holmes County High School graduating seniors may apply. Get financial solutions when you need it from Dave Schlabel Financial Services. After winning six state championships as a head basketball coach, Dave Schlabel knows that planning, preparation, and hard work can lead to success. And the same can be applied to your financial future. Whether you are a young adult, individual, family, or a business, Dave Stable Financial Services will establish financial goals and income protection. Contact Dave Stable Financial Services at 893-1900, located at 4585 State Route 39, Millersburg. Securities offered through ON Equity Sales Company, member FINRA SIPC. This is Matt Kinsey. At First Federal Community Bank, our mission is to empower the financial well-being of our community one person at a time. Through integrity and quality, we earn the trust of our customers and exceed their expectations. First Federal Community Bank, investing in our community since 1898. Serving your banking needs in Dover, New Philadelphia, Yerkesville, Sugar Creek, Berlin, and Mount Hope. First Federal Community Bank, member FDIC. 
Discover your passion and prepare for your future with Buckeye Career Center. Now is the time to enroll for next school year. Visit BuckeyeCareerCenter.org to review our over 30 high school programs in addition to our two new programs, including dental assisting and fire and EMS technology. Other programs to consider are CAD, commercial truck, culinary arts, medical assisting, and masonry. 97% of the class of 2022 was employed, enrolled in college, or enlisted in the military following graduation. Join us to find out why we are Buckeye Proud. Hey you, are you looking for driveway or base materials? I know just the place to go. DNM Rocks in Millersburg. They have shale products and covert pipe and they deliver. Or maybe you're looking for landscape supplies. DNM Rocks has that too. Stop and see them on the hill behind Jenner's or give them a call to set up a delivery at 330-473-6020. DNM Rocks! Call your client with 15 points on the evening. West Holmes scoring total of 47. He would have 15 points. Nate Fair would follow that up with an 11-point effort. Sam Sprang would have eight points. Manny Camacho with two. Coyer Miller with two. And Nate Sprang with three points, respectively, to round out the scoring total of 47 for West Holmes. For Orville on the night, it's Michael Deal. He led the way with 13 points, as well as did Taj Gibson. He would have 13 on the night. Nick Amstutz with three. Mc Malachi Gray would have nine points. Braden Cox and Braylon Slaughter with two points respectively for the, for the Red Riders for their scoring total of 43. So West Holmes will get the victory, 47-43. And now for your team members here, Don Hall. Thank you very much, Troy. Three-point field goals. Orville, 8 of 19 for 42%. West Holmes, 4 of 21 for 19%. Two-point field goals. Orville, 8 of 15 for 53%. West Holmes, 14 of 25 for 56%. From the charity stripe, Orville, 3 of 6 for 50%. West Holmes, 7 of 21 for 33%. Total rebounds, Orville wins that. 35 to West Holmes, 27. Total turnovers, Orville with 22. West Holmes with 13. Just an outstanding effort for West Holmes here in the night. Rebounding for West Holmes in the night will be Nate Ferry. He would grab seven rebounds for the night to lead all rebounders. Three of them on the offensive end. Coyer Miller would grab four rebounds, three of those on the offensive end. Lynn Klein would add three. Collier Klein with four. Sam Spring would have four rebounds as well for Orville. On the other side, or for West Holmes, on the other side for Orville will be Taj Gibson would have five rebounds on the night, while Nick Amstutz also would have five rebounds. Braylon Slaughter with three, Case McDaniels with three, and Michael Deal with four rebounds for Orville. Don, this is a quality win for West Holmes. This is going to propel West Holmes right towards tournament time. This is the momentum they were looking for. And that's what they needed to do. I mean, they scored when they needed to score, and they got stops when they needed. They when you absolutely positively had to have those. They got those. And then and that's what you need. You know, you know that you'll be able to do that going forward. Uh, but what a very, very entertaining game. Uh, I mean, you haven't heard the last of Orville. I mean, Coach Frizzell's got them uh, playing right, playing correct. And uh, But I like what West Holmes did adjustment-wise. You know, Nate, Nate Fair came out and sort of dominated that third quarter and got West Holmes back in the game and uh, actually got them the lead at the end of that third quarter. Absolutely. And I thought maybe the fourth quarter was just an outstanding quarter for West Holmes. Not, you know, Donnie, as you said, their defense and rebounding is really what did the job for them late in the game. And that's, that is so true. And they had buckets when they needed buckets. Manny Camacho, a huge bucket in yeah. the paint. Nate Sprang with a big three. I mean, you just can't yeah. uh, write that down and, and script it any better than what happened tonight. Uh, you know, but I just feel really, really proud for these seniors that uh, came through. Uh, yeah. We were sitting there debating on what we are going to do, you know, call your client Nate Fair, but, you know, we mentioned Wyslaw having a good game inside, Coyer Miller coming in and, and playing that great defense, and uh, Sam Sprang getting a couple nice uh, buckets needed in there. So uh, it's just those it's, – it's very good for those five uh, to come out tonight with a win. Well, it was definitely, I mean, it was a team win for the Knights, but it's even more special being on senior night. And, you know, Don, I think you just solved our dilemma. We didn't know who to give that player the game to. Now I know. How about we give it to all five seniors tonight? Oh, that'll work out just perfect. <laughs> all right. How about that? Five seniors are going to get our player of the game for West Holmes. Tonight is going to be Nate Fair, Sam Spring, Wyatt Schlau, Coyer Miller, Getting that, getting that player of the game tonight. Yeah, and call your client. And call your client. Just, uh, I mean, we, we, we touch bases on every one of those, and we didn't do that just to talk about them. We did it because they were excelling out on the court tonight. 
It was, I mean, it was a great team win for them, and you can see the energy those seniors brought to the floor tonight, so we're happy to do that. Our five money player of the game is the West Holmes seniors tonight. So, ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you for tuning in tonight. This is our final regular season broadcast here at Boys Basketball, but that does not mean the end of it because tournament time is coming up right on around the corner. Stay tuned tomorrow. We'll be back in action here as we'll have basketball coverage all day long on the girls' side of things. Check our WKLM website to get the game to watch there on YouTube. We want to thank our friends at Claxon Communication, like Casey Claxon and Aiden Garibrandt here in the house taking care of business. And, of course, back at Command Central, Ben Brogan Steinwell taking care of pushing all the buttons and making us sound good back there. So that's going to wrap it up here from the dungeon one more time as West Holmes is going to get the victory 47-43. to As always, we appreciate you tuning in tonight, and be sure to check back with us tomorrow for more high school basketball action. Until next time, so long, everybody. Thank you for watching High School Basketball from your hometown radio station, FM 95.3 WKLM. Tonight's broadcast has been a production of WKLM Radio and Claxon Communications.